Hello. Are we live? Are we live? Hello. Yes, Todd is first. Go, Todd. Go, Todd. <laughs> hey, guys. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Are we live? Can you see me? Can you see me? I don't even know if you can see me right now. <laughs> Here we go. Hey guys, hello, hello. I see Todd. Anybody else there? Can you hear me? <laughs> Can you hear me? I'm like, like I'm calling on the phone. Hi guys, hello, hello. Trying to make sure you can see me or hear me. There's Cheryl, hey girl, hey. So, I'm a little delirious. I've been at work all day. So, just wanted to make sure, hey, hey, Evermore, hey, Go Canes, how are ya? Okay, I'm a little delirious. It is late at the Springs, you know how it is. I've been at work since 8 a.m. Yes, you heard that correct, 8 a.m., but why not? I've missed you guys so much. <laughs> so, I know it's a little late night. It's probably past everybody's bedtime a little bit. Hey, Lisa girl. I've got Todd and Cheryl and uh, Go Canes and Evermore and Miss Lisa still popping on a Tuesday, even though it's a Mickey's Very Merry Christmas party night. Hey, Sean. It's beautiful out. It is 67, so I'm a little chilly. I'm wearing my little Disney jacket. <laughs> I'm literally in my work clothes, but you know. No shame in my game. Hey, Joe. Hey, how are you? I've been here since the crack of dawn, but why not? There's a dance party. There's a Mac party. They have this whole shiny, pretty things going on. You can sign up ahead of time on the Mac website. Free makeovers. You know, Mama loves a good party. We didn't get to go in here last time, but it's going on for like five more days, I guess. Hey, 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 Mallory. Hey, Wendy. Hey, Rosie. I thought I'd pop on by. It wouldn't be a Tuesday if I didn't stream. Oh, there's some makeup going on over here. So cool. Oh, yeah, I love it. This is awesome. I'm just going to walk down here. I'm nosy. We got makeup artists going on here with some cool. Hey, Marsha. Hey, Joe. You know there's a DJ. There's a dance party. You know I'm here. <laughs> what? I would never, Mallory. I would never. If, the, if, if it's the one thing you know about me, you know I love hugs. I'll be hugging you when I see you. Are these the Fix Pluses with the delicious flavors? Girl, I need that in my life. That smells good. Do you, um, can I use my cast member to stand here? We do oh, have it on the kids. Oh, it. gotcha, gotcha. It's all girl, it's all good girl. Because I love the coconut. This one's, oh, one. yeah. Yep. So oh, this one's a coconut? Yeah, the tea is one. I'm like, hang on. Oh, there you go, girl. It's my favorite. I'm going to bathe myself in setting spray. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Oop, and she breaks it. Jen, hot mess. So good, so good. And you got some strobe cream over here. Yeah, you get strobe cream, a full the brush, and then also the highlighter for 36 dollars Which one is this one? Which highlighter? It's like beaming blush. Okay. Yeah. And the brush alone is worth 35 so it's really good value. Nice. Nice. All right. Super cute. I know. I know. I'm like here to like, I definitely need that in my life. I know you're doing it for five more days, right? One of your yeah. friends. Sunday at, is the last day. Oh, Sunday is the last day. Okay. Nice. What time are you here till tonight? We're here until midnight. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to run over the trees and I'm going to swing on back. 
Oh, that's she was the one that told me that you had that over here. So awesome! You got some liquid lips, girl. All these little holiday kits are the way to go because ooh, brushes. This is nice. That's not a bad price, you guys. For some face brushes, forty nine fifty for Mac brushes. You know, the MAC 217, that's like my holy grail eye brush. You want to get this super duper crease, cut crease like I do? MAC 417, hey. right? Holy are grail brush. Live? Yes, we are live yes. on YouTube. Oh, here, I was going to go. Hey, guys. Hey, welcome to the MAC event here at Disney Springs, Disney. But yeah, we're having a great time out here. Very phenomenal, fun atmosphere. I don't know how to dance, but... I'm dancing. <laughs> We're gonna do can, it anyway. Yeah, you can follow me, Ken the Actor, and you can follow this young Jen, lady. Jen, some Emporium. Yep, it's a late night stream, but I saw that you guys had it here the other day. I'm like, I had to just spray myself with some Fix Plus real quick. Yes, beauty. Deliciousness, but <laughs> yes, come visit them. You're here till Sunday, right? Yes, it's Sunday. Oh, definitely check it out. So yes. everybody says hi, Mac. <laughs> yeah, she's back there, say hey. <laughs> My Mac girl, hey. Say hi. <laughs> Well, thank yeah. you guys so much. Yeah, Have a awesome. wonderful night. See ya. Bye. I love makeup. This is the problem. I love Mac. Y'all know if you're a true child of the 90s, that's all that was like the thing back in the day. It was all about Mac. But my that is like the ultimate setting spray, Fix Plus. Fix Plus makes everything better. It gives you that glow. Hey, Heidi. Hey, girl. Hey. I'm at your favorite place. We're at the Springs, girl. We got Alice. We got Christine. There's shopping to be had till midnight, you guys. I just got off work and I'm a little delirious. So I'm like, you know what? I need to stream. I miss my Ohana. I miss you guys too much. And then tomorrow, you know, like I'm doing that clopin for the next couple of days. Here's Erin McKenna's Bakery. This is the gluten-free lady. Let's see what she has left. Maybe she has that Thin Mint Cookie. At least I won't feel so guilty if she has anything good left. Let's see. Thin Mint Cookie. Thin Mint Cookie. You know, like the There's left. I know it's the end of the night. There's not going to be much left. Let me see. Cookies, cookies. Ooh, ooh. I see cookies. I see cookies. I need a cookie. Coconut. Ooh. Sorry. Let me see what kind of cookies we have over here. Mmm. These are all like your gluten free treats. They're delicious. Something looks good. Yes, Marja, absolutely. Yeah, there's some cupcakes too. I think we tried a cupcake last time. They see cookies over there. Mm, what kind of cookie is that? I don't know, but it looks good. I want to know what that little strawberry thing is. Or that, is that like a snickerdoodle? Vegan, exactly. It's so good. I'll get one of each, whatever that is. Yes, lip gloss and Viva Glam 5. Yes, girl. Oh, man, we're like showing age. Half tip cookies looks good. Okay, we'll try it. I want to try that. and We'll try one of each. How about that? They don't have the whatever it is. The Thin Mint one that we saw the other day. Right, Sean? I'm down. That Thin Mint cookie from the Grand Floridian was from here, but I don't know if they have it or not. They have those cookies over there, too. I think they're like macaroons, coconut macaroons or something. But whatever that is, that chocolate cookie's got my name on it. Make sure you guys hit that like button. I know it's kind of late, but why not? We'll go hang out. 300 inches of snow in Michigan. Girl, it's time for you to move to Florida. I know, they got to build that house faster, girl. Ooh, half price before closing. Oh, they got three more hours till they close. So. But whatever that is, it looks good. I want to try it. That one and that one. And this is, yeah, vegan cookie sandwich. It says it's vegan, soy-free, gluten-free, and kosher. Even better. That's the way to go. But, I mean, if it's anything like that Thin Mint cookie, it was that was amazing. 
so we need to try it for sure. It says right there, a bakery free from harmful ingredients and number two cute uniforms. Isn't that awesome? Hey, Natalie. Hey, girl. Hey. It's a little... I had a bad day already. already had a donut. Already had some mac and cheese from homecoming. So, you know, if I'm going to go down in a blaze of glory today, I'm going to be like the, at least the gluten-free kind so it won't hurt me tomorrow. <laughs> so, I'm down for that. I've been working for since 8 in the morning. I need a treat. I'm sorry, my willpower is low. <laughs> uh, we're we're, we're going to restart this whole keto thing after Christmas because this is just too hard to cheat. we got a couple more parties to go. I'm going to try to eat good in the meantime, but still. At least I'm going to have a guilt-free treat-ish. <laughs> I don't know what these cupcakes are, but they look good. They also have the little um, loaves up there, so... Ooh, there's donuts. What's going on? Hey, Jerry. We're inside Erin McKenna's Bakery from New York City. They're the ones that made that Thin Man cookie. Um, we're here at Disney Springs. Um, why not for a little late night extravaganza tonight? It's freezing. It's, um, <laughs> I know you guys are going to laugh at me. It's 67. It's cold. But how are you guys? What are you guys up to? <laughs> I've been I've been working since I, I streamed late last night with you guys. Got like three hours of sleep. I got up at like four, left my house by six. I was at work by eight, so yeah. Running on two hours of sleep, but I had to I wanted to see you guys. I've missed you. Exactly. I just keep I try to eat like meals good, but like today I'm like forget it. I'm gonna have Brussels sprouts. I had a it's a kid's meal. I had a kid's meal. I had like the tenders with the Oh my gosh, girl. Oh, there's more cookies. Are those snickerdoodles? Oh, there's chocolate loaves, pumpkin bread, why? should we get? Are we getting it all? I put, oh my gosh, a lot of snow, y'all. Cookies, these are good vegan gluten-free cookies. It won't hurt me so much. Are those snickerdoodles? Or something. I don't know. They're something. They're sugar cookies. They look good, though. I want a cookie. I'm in a cookie mood today. Thin mints, huh? Okay, what are the, uh, is that the, uh, this? I don't know what it is. It looks good. It's oh, chocolate. Are that is, uh, those are cupcake stockings. I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> sure, one of each. Why not? Oh, absolutely. And what type of cookies do you have left up here? I, I need two snickerdoodles and a sugar cookie, please. It's all going in my belly. <laughs> well, you know, like, yeah. Um, no, two, uh, the snickerdoodle, and then uh, do two snickerdoodle, two sugar. I'm going to share. Honey can have one when I get home. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Yeah. I had your Thin Mint at Grand Floridian. I died, died. It was so good. I was like, oh, and I work right here. I'm like, I need to go. I need it in my life. I need it. Plus, you know, at least it won't pain me in the morning since I am gluten intolerant. So I'm like, yes, treats I can eat. Um, yes, ma'am. 
some pumpkin loaf. I have no willpower at the end of the night. <laughs> but hey, it's. I work here. Like, there's just no such How? Thing I work at, at, at the homecoming. Yeah, so true. I've had, you know, a, went down in a blaze of glory today. I was like, I had Brussels sprouts and grilled tenders, but then I had a little bit of mac and cheese. And, mm -hmm. and it's not gluten free. So I was yeah. like, mm, the pain. Yeah. <laughs> and that's it for you today? Yeah. Total with a discount does come to 11 today. That is fantastic. Usually in the morning you still have some of those thin mints. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Um, at the top of your receipt, it's going to have our phone number. We open up every single day at 10 a.m. You are welcome to call ahead if you know you're going to work or anything yes. like that. You want to sneak over and we can put it to the side. Yay. Might save me a thin mint. Because I, I bought it from the little yeah, yeah. gingerbread house and then when I turn it around, I'm like, that's from Aaron McKenna's. I said, that's for Springs. I'm like, that's right next door. That's right next door. And I'm like, oh, it, I like it better than a real Thin Mint. Like, yes, it is, same. it was so like, moist on top. Size, exactly. I was like, blown away by it. It was so good. And there's so many of us that are like, have gluten issues that I literally like, I cry because I go to the, yes. Yes, you're awesome. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Life is good. Yeah. Cookies make everything better. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, you you too. <laughs> Yay. All right, y'all. I'm going down in a blaze of glory today, but I'm trying to be good. You see me at my worst. I, I you know. Oh, sprinkles is a good, bad, bad and everything in between, but at least it's gluten free. And I won't be crying about how I, I you know, I hurt myself in the morning because I ate something naughty. And I'm going to share with Rob so I can take him down in a blaze of glory, too. <laughs> yes, no, the Thin Mint Jill. It's good, girl. It's good. And it's a big cookie. And it was like three-something. I'm like, well, that's cheap. And they bake them fresh every day, so really quiet at Terralina. I mean, I literally had nothing going on at my bar today. Nothing. So I'm like, time to go. <laughs> Here's Paddlefish, guys. This used to be... Um, Empress Lily needs to be Fulton's Crab House. So, oh, hi, Toby. How you doing? Sorry, I was buying cookies. How's everybody going? A lot of snow in Ottawa. Oh, dear. Let's go Christmas shopping. Let's do it, Mallory. We're going to go see these Christmas trees before they close down the Christmas tree trail. Um, we've got some filthy, rich, celebrity-inspired jewelry. So if you want to, do they have, like, Meghan Markle's tiara? They really should. That royal wedding is, like, amazing. Hi, how are you? Awesome, awesome. Ooh, Lady Gaga's earrings. I love her so much. If I can help you at all, you let me know. There's different sizes in the rings. Oh, wow. Beautiful. I'm like, I'm surprised you don't know. Like, I'm sure it's coming, Meghan Markle's tiara from her wedding, I, you know? I, I, I oh. one I've already sold. Oh, you've already sold it. I was just going to say, there you go. The royal stud earrings, Meghan Markle. There she is. I love her. I'm, like, obsessed. I just think they're the cutest things in sliced bread. Oh, they even have her engagement ring. There you go. But it's beautiful. I mean, it's simple, but it's gorgeous. That's beautiful. Oh, Diana's ring. Oh my gosh, the aquamarine ring. That breaks my heart. Oh, you got Kate. Wow. Hey, Melanie. Hey, girl. Hey. You were up since 4 a.m. Okay. Yep. We're all a little delirious today. But that's why I have no willpower when I don't get any sleep and I work all day. But they're gluten-free cookies. I'm being oh, good. I <laughs> hear ya. At Erin McKenna's. Yeah, I tried their Thin Mint one at the Grand Floridian. They sell them at the Gingerbread House. And I flip over the package. I'm like, oh, it's from Erin McKenna's. It's right here. They were sold out. But... Yeah. They have a lemon blueberry cupcake. Well, they had it in the summer. I don't know if they yeah. still have it. That's gluten free. Oh, really? And I had it. And it it was, was so good. It was 100% better than over there. Really? It was, oh. it was lemon blueberry. If you're I'm going to have to check the gluten free selections of sprinkles. Thank you. Oh, I'm down. I'm down. Yeah, girl, I should never go shopping when I'm hungry. This is what happens. Uh, they had the pumpkin loaf. I didn't grab a pumpkin loaf. I should have. I'm already like, let me try one of these snickerdoodles. Mm -hmm. Hang on, we're gonna, it's, it's like a cookie, a gluten-free cookie mukbang. <laughs> uh, snickerdoodle. Oh, oh, a little chewy. 
Body is good. Oh, nice, Heidi. Hey, Mel. I, it's gluten free, girl. It's gluten free. I'm being good. There's T Rex. Oh. Yeah, you need to try the thin mint, you guys. It's so good. Yeah, the snickerdoodle is delicious. I'm trying to catch up. Hey, Sherry girl. I've been working. Uh, work was good. It was really good this morning. Even though it was slow, I still did really well. And then tonight, we don't normally have a bar outside at night on a Tuesday. I was bored out of my mind. My friend Sean. Where's, where, where's, <laughs> you know Sean. Where's Ruby? Sean came by, so he hung out with me for a little bit outside, chit-chatting. So Sean came by. I wasn't streaming, so I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't, <laughs> you know, give Ruby some uh, visual aids. Oh, yesterday, Toby Tron, I am a happy birthday, Toby. Pecan pie, ooh, girl. Is it lagging? Let me make sure I don't have the Wi-Fi on. Okay, it's not on. Did you guys check your, um, make sure you have, um, it's on 720? It says, all right, I was just trying to make sure. Is it fuzzy? Can you guys see okay? All right. It's saying I have okay signal. I mean, it like, kind of shows it on here but I don't know are we lagging I'll move over I'll keep moving if we're in a dead zone hey Joshua is it still really bad let me know you can see fine okay I just want to make sure it's not like I mean, let me know if everybody, usually everybody would be like, yeah, it's totally like in a dead zone or something. Puppy is great. I didn't want to leave her this morning. She was adorable. You know, I got up early because when I picked her up this morning, she got up out of the crate just to go sleep on my dirty clothes while I got ready for work. But she was still so tired. Okay, just want to make sure. All right, let me know if it does lag. Then we have like, you know, dead zones that we know of. There's Nessie. Loch Ness Monster has been here since the 90s. Plenty of kids playing Legos right now. Wow. Snickerdoodle is good. I mean, it's not as fluffy as a flour cookie, but it's really good. Mmm. Unikitty sometimes. <laughs> Peanut blood. Oh my gosh. It's supposed to use less bandwidth, like this app. That's why I'm using it. Just because it's supposed to, um, use less bandwidth so it's supposed to give you a clearer image but it may not be <laughs> i'm stuffing my face right now who's your luck hiya okay no worries mm. okay that was delicious it's packed, you guys. It's a Tuesday night. Look how many people are here. Yeah. Mmm. Peanut blossoms sound really good, Brooke. I don't think I've ever had one. 
Ooh. Oh, it's packed. Look at the line out the door for Ghirardelli. There's always people having a good time by Stitch. <laughs> exactly, you have Lisa and Jill and um, Sherry. They're all travel agents here that can help you. So absolutely, you've got a wealth of information right here with all of our wonderful Ohana. Oh my gosh, look, we've got a whole, where's Natalie? We got a whole stitch set up over here. So cute. Really? So why aren't we at the castle? <laughs> what shows on the stream when stuff pops up? I'm confused. What are you asking me specifically? The chat? I can see this, the chat. I got the viewer count. And then the donation ticker. It's supposed to show up if you do a super chat. So just holler at me if it's not. <laughs> Any shows tonight? I don't know, we'll see what's, um, what time is it? Oh, it's still 9.30. There still should be some live entertainment going on. <clears throat> it's early. Well, early at the Springs. You know, the Springs has opened pretty late. Let's see if they got any more 90th uh, birthday stuff. That's all we had left the other day. Oh, lots of hugging bear. They still have that plush. It's not sold out. Your kitty's gonna go get a glass of water. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> oh, cute. I kinda like the little fascinator headbands. Very cute. Oh my gosh, we need the shirt, you guys. We need the shirt. Hey, Lauren, how are you, girl? You know, I told you I would, yeah, there's a ton. So I told you, you didn't have to stress out about it. It's not sold out or anything. These are cute. All this original Musketeer stuff is adorbs. <clears throat> this one looks like it came from 1955. That's really neat. Cute, cute, cute. M I C K E Y M O U S E. These are cute. Oh, that's hilarious. Donald. Yes, I love you, Donald. Don't feel bad. But look at the shirt. Yeah, that's cute. That is definitely, um, I would say Disney is my cardio, but look at that. That is so perfect. <laughs> Stitch on the shelf, nice. Hey, there's a movie. There's a movie on. Yeah, she's looking for something. Nice. Um, I'm a matching fan, but I really think that shirt is cute. Anyway, it is true, girl. It's true. Park hopping is my cardio. Just wish they had it in like girly or a v-neck at least. And their graphic tees are $20 each when you buy two. That's a good deal. And then I got all these. Like, remember we saw these? Like the little, um, oh, that one is kind of cute. The take the grand circle tour. Squirrel. My other ride is a monorail. Oh my gosh. Yeah, totally. 
I love the whole 80s look. Oh. <clears throat> My throat is dry. Probably need to... Yeah, let's show check out your family jam jams. There should be over here. They don't have complete matching jam jams, but you could all buy the same one. Um, where did I see it? Is it Target? Somewhere online that I saw that they had matching, like, family jammas, but there's just, um, like, they're in pieces right here. Here's all the Christmas jammy stuff. There's, like, night shirts. You have this stuff that's, like, plaid but they don't have they have that one black set that's like oh there it is like that one but that's kind of what they have right now oh the ice display is really good yeah that's there every year as well you can go like ride a luge or a toboggan <laughs> But it's very cute. Like they have these pajamas right here, but you can kind of like coordinate. Like the dad's got like these pants and then you have the joggers. The mom has the joggers. So it's very cute. But the actual like pajamas are these little black ones. Meet me under the mistletoe. And then the joggers are right here. And then they have like the jam jams, like bottoms and stuff. Coles, that's it. Somebody was Everybody's like posting different links, but yeah, they don't have it here per se, but I would definitely try to buy it before you come to the party anyway. Um, <clears throat> looks like they're sold out of the adult Christmas spirit jersey, so I'm really glad I bought that because they only have kids now. Yeah, see, these are all kids' sizes. They're out of the adults one. Remember we took it off the mannequin? Um, yeah, they have the, the black pajamas. Looks like they have a, t a plethora of that. Rose gold for days. <laughs> I love it. I love this whole rose gold section over here. Target too. Yeah, ice is really good. So if you can, you, you have access to Groupon. Groupon, it saves you a few dollars, but you know, every little bit helps you guys. You know, I'm trying to give you like the best deal I can get you anywhere. Um, Yes, let's go do this Christmas tree trail before it closes. Oh, here's the thing. Hey, Annette. Hey, Marsha. <clears throat> yes, Natalie, get it, girl. Disney is our cardio. Oh, oh, the jacket is back. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. It's back. It's back. There you go. That's what I'm trying to do with this whole jacket, denim jacket business right here. I want to do a dark one like this because it looks so good. Some pins, some patches. I mean, that is just too cute for words. Official Mouseketeer. But I want to do the Ohana on the left because it's got to be over your heart because, you know, that's how it should be. And look at all the pants. Like, we could do this ourselves. Hey, Mary. Hey, Alicia. Hey, Mr. Cruz. Oh, I love chocolate milk. I do, girl. I, I love chocolate milk. I just can't drink milk. We drink heavy cream, but I love the color of this jacket. You make it yourself. They don't sell the jacket. You just buy the patches. That's why I've been slowly buying up patches all over town. And these are just pins. And then you just go bedazzle it yourself. You know, I'm going to see what brand this jacket is. Let's not be nosy. Or actually, let's be nosy. I want to know what brand jacket this is. Can somebody tell? Uniqlo. Ding, dang. Really? Okay, let's do it. Of course. I should have known it was a Uniqlo one. All right. Well, we have that here on Disney property. See? So good. So beautiful. Can't be that expensive then if it came from Uniqlo. All right. We're going to go hit up that store after we get done. Just make it yourself. I know. Here's all the patches, you guys. Look. To die. To die for do it on jeans and they have the ohana patch where were we that we saw the ohana patch oh at that store at magic kingdom by filler magic but they have them here too at the springs they have all the oh the little he she's cute the little unicorn but you kind of just do it yourself but look how adorable it is yes we should totally do an ohana meetup but we always meet up whenever you guys are here easy enough to find each other 
I think the next like major Ohana meetup for everybody is December 9th for the Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. Look how cute these are. Oh my word. You know, a lot of people are going to be in town. Okay. Jill is going to be here. Caesar's going to be here. I'm sure, you know, Rob and I are going to be there. Tanya too. Everybody's going to be there for the party, Mel. I mean, we're all going to be there. It's going to be our next big one. New Year's Eve too is another one. I know Steven will be down by then. Absolutely. Ooh, cup of chocolate milk. I'm down. Yes, that Ohana patch. That's great. We found it. At the resorts have it, and the store right by the by Filler Magic has it. Remember, right on the bottom. So Magic Kingdom has it, but just look everywhere. But I love that. I'm glad they brought it back. I couldn't find it the other day to show Rob, but I was trying to accomplish here. And they've got some more fuzzy jackets. Ooh. Oh, I like this one. This one's nice. It's fuzzy. It says Belize. Oh, that's nice, y'all. That's velvet. Ooh. Mm. I'm afraid to see how much it is. It's not too thick. Actually, it's not that expensive. It's not that bad. I'm not saying it, that's not expensive, because it is. It's $64.99. It's the same price as a spirit jersey. Very nice. Yeah, it's uh, $64.99 for that jacket. It's cute. I like the back of it. This one's just a micro fleece, you know. I know it's like $12 I like Walmart. But it's a Disney one, so I love fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy micro fleece. And it does say Walt Disney World on it. $60.00. And I know, I have one I bought from Costco, 12 bucks. 12 bucks? But it doesn't say Disney on it, sorry. Oh boy. They're <clears throat> breaking out all the cold weather gear. It's 67 right now. Uh oh, all the stitch stuff, watch out. Oh, New Year's Eve is gonna be, yeah, New Year's Eve will hit capacity again. Yeah, we have to book those way ahead of time, like, I will be on property because I will not be leaving property that day. It's a big, it's kind of like worse than Vegas busy. It's going to be, resorts are going to be full. Um, it's one big party, especially at Epcot and Magic Kingdom. It's going to be, oh yeah, any major holiday here is crazy. Crazy. We got a whole Marvel section. This stuff, they had at Cast Connections, BTW, just want to let you guys know. Or um, Character Warehouse. It's still being sold in stores. They had some of these. I think it was Hulk and Iron Man that they already had at the outlet. Just saying. I'm just saying. If you want that shirt for somebody, totally go to the character warehouse because they're. I'm so sorry. They already have it there. They sell stuff sometimes that they're still sold in stores. So you just gotta check every week because it does change. <clears throat> 20 on Thanksgiving, Fairfield, that's so cold. So, so cold. Well, it's not nearly as busy the last time we were here. All right, let's get this tree trail business on the, uh, here, let's just cut across. Oh no, oh no, I'm just trying to go out the door. Set me free. Oh, 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 Tink is doing her magic. Cool. Sorry. <laughs> Get out the door. All right. Hey, Myra, how are you, girl? Mm, basin. Let's go wash our hands so this smells pretty. Oh, love the smell in here. Smells good. Ooh, Christmas tree. All right. Ooh, that smells good. I'm gonna go wash my hands. Get some of these salt scrubs. Make you smooth.
deer. Hang on. Trying to wash my hands without knocking you guys out. bottom corners or they were up oh, there right here they moved them on me they're so good yeah they're 35 each or two for 60 but that last year forever these um sugar scrubs satsuma oh yeah that's a good one hey mitch oh my gosh richard that's chilly everybody else is getting chilly weather but yes make sure you stop by basin when you're here Next time you're at the Springs, they have one at the Grand Floridian too. But this one smells amazing. Mm, now I'm all moisturized. I love it. Oh, the band is playing. 20s. Girl, it is cold. <clears throat> oh, look. There is a toy soldier, a very tall toy soldier. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bad metro. Oh no, I kind of said like maybe it was like I wasn't sure what time I was gonna get out, Mitch. So don't feel bad. I was begging. I've been begging since seven o'clock for them to send me home. But I'm like, please, please. I'm. I was bored. I was like, please. It's busy over here. So I mean, look how packed the Springs is. Oh, wow, Christine, your birthday's on Thanksgiving? Oh, my gosh, yes. It is. It's it's like a, not so much a Bath & Body Works, but a uh, Lush. But I know what you're saying, Everett. It's kind of like that, but it is like a Lush boutique. Yep. Happy early birthday, girl. Happy early birthday. <clears throat> oh, wow. Yeah, totally, Mallory. No, it would be in here. If they have, um, if they have like Lacoste or anything, like specific, like men stuff would be at uh, 28th and Main. Oh, there's that Christmas tree, Christmas one that everybody's telling me I need to go get because it has the fur. The fur. We're going to the co-op and let's see if they have it here at 28th and Main. This where this is where it would be because this is like the fin the fancy man men's store. Well, they have that. It's not Lacoste, though. But this is all your Walter Elias Disney 28th and Main fancy stuff <laughs> is in this stove. Just got polos. But they're like Disney Parks one. Oh, the actual store is by Super Dry. Gotcha. Okay. Sticky toffee pudding. Yum. I like the sticky toffee pudding, but at the Wizarding World, it's very delicious. Ooh, that hoodie is nice. Ooh. That's cute. Oh, they got a Mickey one. That's pretty. How much is the hoodie? The Oswald one's really nice. They're $60, $59.99. Very nice. Oh, your niece's birthday and Thanksgiving too. Wow, there's a lot of uh, oh, Thanksgiving sweet. birthdays. <clears throat> I need a beverage. Yeah, there's a, here's a make your own candle stuff again. Somebody was asking us about this. $25 per candle. They're not doing it now. But they do have it here because somebody else was asking us about that again the other day. So, yep. But it's right here, but you got to come a little earlier. It's at noon. There you go. 
Next class is at noon. All right. Here's the puppy shop. See, it's just even, it's even big on this, like, fake doggy. It is just, Riley just need to grow. And I don't know if she'll even be that big when she's fully grown. They just need to make some doggy stuff that's, like, for smaller pups. I feel like we're in Norway right now. Let's go spray some Layla. Mmm, it's my fave. They're all out of Layla. It's like the best smell ever. So good, delicious. Here's your Layla right there. <laughs> I don't know if they have the gear though, the gear nest. Here's your Alex and Ani's for days. No oh, happy birthday, Bell. Happy, happy birthday. Yep, yeah, Magic Candle Company is excellent, absolutely. <clears throat> That's my, like, out of the, the non-Disney, non, non Disney-scented candles. Yeah, those are, that's my fave. Is, there, what, is that a dance party? Hang on. I hear a DJ. Sing it. <laughs> Watch out. There's a DJ. Oh, my God. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm gonna put these cookies away in my bag. Oof. <laughs> Everybody's partying tonight. Holy cow, look how many people are here. What? Okay. Queen? Nice. Yeah. Oh my gosh, they're gonna be copyright. Cover your ears. I've been 20 seconds. All right. How long is Santa's wait? 90 minutes at the chalet. Let it go. Okay, we go from that to let it go. Okay. Some people have had way too much fun tonight. <laughs> I just keep hitting the mute button just so we're not like, I don't know, it probably still got us on copyright. Like, I'm like, Queen might be one of those weird songs, you know, like, walk the world by. You never know. Here's your Beauty and the Beast tree. I know, they're all, they're all so pretty. Where's the snow, though? And I have no snow tonight. Where's my snow? Did they run out of snow? Here's your beauty and the, uh, no, the sleeping beauty. Get your frozen tree. So backed up with a frozen tree. That's all right, we'll go over here. Princess and the frog. Here's the little mermaid. Sorry, here's the gingerbread cookie place and the frozen hot chocolate place. I think they're out of gingerbread cookies again. Sugar cookies. Oh yeah, I think they're all out of cookies. I don't see any cookies. We are cooking out. Oh, it's late. Yeah. Here's the other Mac store that's in here. There's Pinocchio's tree. 
Oh, here's the Haunted Mansion trees, my favorite. Oh yeah, we've done it. But we can do it again. Charlie Brown music, yeah. <laughs> they are pretty. <laughs> no, only Snoop, girl, only Snoop. I need this tree in my life. Yep. Is this your first time seeing it, girl? This is her second time here, or third. It's her third time here, but it's fun anyway. I figure it'd be fun to run around the tree trail. There we go. Snow. Snow? Snow. Yes. So good. Yeah, and then you got Madame Leota's music lessons from regions beyond. Be sure to bring your death certificate. Hey, Caesar. Here's your Mulan one. This honor on you. Oh, this is the one. Let's get down to business, Jim. Run as swift as the coursing river. Fight with the strength of a raging fire. Bring honor to you, your family, and your cow. <laughs> it's awesome. Nice, Mallory. I know I do want these posters so bad. Look, fireworks, 100% ancestor approved. And you got Mushu right there. Nice. It's pretty. I need a beverage, though. <clears throat> My throat is very, very dry. I need a beverage. Starbucks would be nice. I should have gone by Starbucks. <laughs> Pinocchio! Yeah, so good. Sold out to the salt mine. We're at Disney Springs, Everett. We are not at a park, we're at the Springs. Late jolly Christmas. It's a less crowded than the last time we were here. <laughs> Stroke of midnight carriage repair, I love it. The villain's tree is pretty awesome too though. Cute, right? Yeah, these are really cute trees. Maddie, uh, 66 and clear right now. Sweater weather. Oh, not sweater weather, but you know. We're wearing long sleeves and jeans, but well, I had to wear jeans because I've been at work still wearing my work jeans. But I'm, I've got, I'm fully covered. Porgs and Jawas, Jawas and Porgs. I love it. Yeah, the we, this is our second one. Last time we were here, remember, was uh, Mitch was here Sunday. It was like last Sunday. It was super packed. You, me, and Rob were running around all over town in here. Definitely on a Tuesday. This is packed, though, for a Tuesday. It's kind of scary. More snow. Yay. I love it. Yeah, absolutely, Mallory. It is a. Uh, it's in the description box below. It is going on till January sixth. So definitely, always check out the description box. There's a lot of information in there. So it definitely does. You know, it may answer questions you've got. Definitely. And this one is. What is it? This one is. It's your tangled tree. It's an Emma tree. 
Ooh, yes, Natalie, yes. This is kind of cool. Mint. No, okay. Rapunzel. This is mint. Mmm, that does not smell good. Yeah, smell right. <clears throat> nope. There's the Jungle Book one. Yeah, that sounds awesome, Natalie. Here's my poster again. <laughs> Yeah, no stitch tree this year. I know, right? That kind of shenanigans that is. <clears throat> 90 minutes, Santa's like busy. He still got like a 90 minute wait. But you can meet Santa here at the Springs. Santa, I know him. Do you know him? I think we know him. I know, right? Santa. Santa, Santa. Yeah, just check in and then they like, they'll page you when it's your time, which is kind of nice. It's like a virtual queue. So you're not like waiting in line for 90 minutes. Do, 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 do your Muppets tree. Yes, you've got Lisa right here. You've got plenty of your Disney certified travel agents that can answer all your lovely questions and help you out. Yes, definitely get a hold of her. She's awesome. They're all amazing. You've got Sherry and you've got Lisa. You've got, you know, Jill. Everybody. Definitely help them out. And all the, um, exactly, um, Sean listed a the um, list of all the Halloween, the Halloween party, the Christmas parties. But I would always go to that Disney Go website because you can buy your ticket right on there, you know? So, same thing. That one's an article from, what is it, Undercover Tourist? But you can also link the, like, right on the spot, like on the Disney World Go website because it shows you the little calendar view and then because there are different prices for different dates and stuff. Oops, sorry, you're good. Melly Kalikamaka. <laughs> I love it. Oh, the Mary Poppins tree is awesome. Oh, and Tanya too, that's right. Don't forget bubbles. Yep, Tanya too. You got you got your choice. You got your choice. You got a plethora of people to choose from. There it is. Thank you so much, Alice, for linking that. So yeah, just click on those sites that'll have all your dates because it's different prices. But you have so many of our wonderful Ohana here willing to help your travel needs for sure. So yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's that's some chunky snow though. Chunky. Fantasia tree. That's cold. Ooh, getting snoop on the microphone. There's a big old tree. <clears throat> and it's the days of Christmas. I can't believe how crowded it is on a Tuesday, though, right? Oh, mistletoe. Oh, you get a little photo op thingy over here. I did. I saw it on the. Uh, I saw it on the mod chat this morning. I did. I did. I saw the Fantasia merch. Very cute. 
Ugh. Dracaris? Dracaris. <laughs> it makes the same sound as the dragon. But here's your Days at Christmas store. More Christmas merch. Kind of the same homogenous Christmas merch that we've seen everywhere, but they have them in the Christmas store too. So very cute. Mm. Jack stuff. Nice. Oh, good. Happy anniversary, Cindy. Is it today? Oh, wow, it is, right? Happy, happy anniversary to you. <laughs> Losing my voice. Oops, sorry. Lack of sleep, girl. Lack of sleep. So pretty. I love it. Mm. Ooh, it smells musty. Mm. Not so good. It's like somebody left their clothes in the dryer. <laughs> it smells musty. Welcome, girl. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think most of the kids are out of school. That's why it's packed here. You saw Magic Kingdom yesterday. Bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Here's Rainforest. Still here. <laughs> Going strong since 1990, right? Totally. I'll go this way because we went that way the last time. Here's Goofy Candy Company. Get a sweet treat. Nobody's getting some uh, glaciers, some frosties in here. I mean, there's plenty of candy in here, though. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, the smell is delicious. We got Goofy's glaciers. Mmm. I know, right? Just need to have a Disney treat all year long. Gourmet flavored cotton candy. Ooh. They have the fresh stuff? Oh yeah, over there. So we need the fresh stuff. Cause you know. Oh, by the way, I gave Rob the pineapple skewer. That was so good. Mmm, those look so good. Oh, it smells the that ogu. You see that? It's a vat ogu. I love it. No, no rubies on. I know you need smell of vision, but look, before going on duty, make sure you do the following. The guest is always right. Smile. So good. <laughs> Life is like a box of chocolates. Eat up and enjoy. Yeah, that is so cute. I know, the treats are real. And then your candies. I mean, this is sugar-free, seriously? Like, this is the only sugar-free thing we have? They are Isomalt. Hmm. Sugar free lollipops. I'll have to try those one of these days. Yeah, they changed the packaging on the, the bag candy. Jelly beans, cherry balls, um, mini unicorn pops, sour balls. 
Mike and Ike's sour ones, right? All the they used to have the like the gummy. Oh, they have more over on the other side. Ooh, more treats, you guys. Why? Why? I'm just looking. I'm being good. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, no, I, I know that there's slushies in here. This has been here for a long time, since the 90s, I think. But, yes, you can use your snack credits. It's just like Candy Cauldron. Anytime you see your, um, anytime you see the little snack credit, little purple things, the little DDP right there, Disney Dining Plan, you can use that for your snack credit, absolutely. There's your pineapple skewer. Mo cookies, mo cookies. Chocolate dipped marshmallow wand with topping. Got these cute little Rice Krispie treats. Uh, there's that delicious, delicious cake pop I had last night. Mm. So good, you guys. Oh, thank you so much, Mitch. Can you guys see it? Is the donation ticker showing up on your end? I can't see it on my end, but I appreciate that so much. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I'm just trying to still work my way with this app. I'm learning learning but thank you do you did it show up on the up there thank you alice i just want to make sure like your name shows up on the ticker that way you get the the kudos that you deserve thank you again match i appreciate you thank you so much also steven and hang on there we go it was, um, no, I know, I know. I want to make sure. <laughs> Yay, awesome. I know, it's not like, I appreciate it though, Mitch. It doesn't, definitely helps a lot and, you know, put it right back into the channel. I appreciate that. Um, no, thank you. Yeah, also for Miss Millie, Millie donated through PayPal yesterday as well as Steven, so that came in right away as well. I wanted to say thank you. I'm still trying to figure out a way where I can hook up everything so like the paypal um if you don't hear through Streamlabs, it shows up also and super chat so i'm trying to do it all together i'm still working on it still learning it's all a whole new learning experience um <clears throat> but i think that would be cool that way it's all like together and it'll always show up no matter which way you donate so that's definitely awesome thank you again for for mitch and also for steven and millie so through PayPal. I do appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mmm. Why? Why am I in here? Okay, this is so good. Yeah. So good. Pixie sticks. Same one. Gummy insects. Where's the sugar-free stuff? I think we've been hornswoggled. Where is the sugar-free business? They don't carry it anymore. Oh, there's your pretzels. Gummy spiders. Funhouse mirror. Ooh, what? Those look delicious. Thank you. No, tomorrow for sure I cannot stream. Remember I told you, I don't know if you were... Maybe you guys missed it yesterday if you weren't there. Um, I'm working all night tomorrow, like all night. So I can't, unfortunately, tomorrow, like they own me. I can't really do, um, do I, I can't stream tomorrow for sure because I'll be at work until um, 2.30 in the morning. So unfortunately, that's no fun at all. Wow, these are so pretty, you guys. Look at this. You need it in life right here. Need it in your life. You need it. Oh, awesome. They had Disney Store buttons. That's great. There, instead of a birthday cake, just have a Rice Krispie Treat. 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 Oh my gosh, she's having moments. A Rice Krispie Treat cake. <clears throat> Ooh, Sprite Zero. Although I need a tea. Yeah, it's Streamlabs. It's the same app I've been using since last time. I like to keep it in my arsenal because of... Since we're having a lot of YouTube updates lately and YouTube is being really, really wonky, 
and it also uses less bandwidth. So it's supposed to come out really, really crispy because it's, ooh, um, because of the, I know, I, I'm so distracted by these treats right now. Why? <laughs> okay, walk away from the treats, girl. You got gluten-free cookies. These cookies will hurt you. They will hurt you and it won't be pretty. Walk away from the treats. But I wanted to show you guys the treats. You can have it. <laughs> Goofy's Candy Company. Yeah, Rob would be so happy. Oh, I know he would die. He would die. He's not gluten intolerant. Yeah, where is, I thought they had, it used to be a orange bag. The sugar-free gummies was the only thing I could eat. Yeah, I'm gonna have it. Did you guys stop selling the sugar-free like gummies? It's like the orange bag, right? That's all I, I got. Me. So, so there's a register directly across from us where the little garland's hanging over there. Yeah. Like right up there, there's a little shelf in front of the register over there that has sugar free items. Oh, okay. Thanks. Appreciate it. All I saw was the pops. I must have missed all the sugar free stuff. Mm, look at all the treats you guys. <sighs> Delicious. Okay. Hey. This is it. This is the only sugar-free stuff we have. Yeah. Totally, like, this is it, right? <laughs> These are not sugar-free. Yeah, that looks like that's the only sugar-free items. Sorry. Yeah, they don't want... They stop ma it looks like they stopped making it. Just the pops. Wow. That's okay. There's other bakeries we can go hit up. <laughs> I know. Okay, it's hot in there. Let's get outside. Oh my gosh, you know like rainforest has not changed since the 90s. Like it's giving me flashbacks. It's pretty though. Look at the size of that crocogator. If that was a real crocogator, you better run. It's gonna eat us. Good night, Everett. <laughs> it is. Oh, 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 okay. That's frightening. He's going to eat me. Oh dear. Yeah. Oh boy, he's still going. It is. It's definitely good for like if you're like a kid or you're a child at heart. Absolutely. You're definitely there for the uh, the ambiance. <laughs> You're there for the entertainment, sorry. Ooh, there's a puppy store up here. You know what? There is a little puppy kiosk here. I haven't checked there yet. There used to be a little puppy kiosk with the, along with the left-handed merch over, I think it's over there. Let's go find a puppy, puppy store. There's T-Rex right across the way. So it's owned by the same company. It's Landry's. But it's very pretty, guys. They do. Well, you know, you're there. If you go to Rainforest or T-Rex, you're there for the ambiance. You're there for the, um, like, the entertainment, like, the animatronics and stuff like that, for sure. For sure. Here's that Greg McCullough store that I never know was here the entire time. <laughs> I never... Oh, there it is. Ooh, missed a curb again. <laughs> The Happy Hound. I knew there was a puppy store. The clearance store? No. There's no clearance store here anymore. The outlets are... No, there's no outlet stores here. I wish. This is Star Wars now. Um, yeah, maybe back in the day. It was something else before it was Star Wars too. They just changed it again. 
Yeah, this is just all Star Wars now. There's like two, not three, three. Two, two, two Star Wars stores. There's one on the other end. Nope, yep, there's some merch. Yeah, this is the gallery. That was the uh, Goofy's Candy Company. This is the, the gallery. This is just a display that I got confused because I saw Star Wars, but there's a Star Wars store right by Trendy right here. Yeah, no, I wish there was an outlet store. Oh my gosh, can you imagine? Oh, there's puppy things. Oh dear. Okay. Oh, they carry all the outwear hound stuff. It's good stuff. I bought the um the baby Bjorn for the outwear hound one for the for for her. Oh boy. Barking diva. No, she doesn't she doesn't bark. Hardly. She's a good girl. She's a good good girl. Let's check out all these toys. Tug and squeak. Oh, I need to bring her hedgehogs. I'll keep squeaking. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, no, a $5 and under. Ooh, when was that? Down the alley? Oh yeah, we're down the alley here. Now we have this stuff. Yeah, being that rent's so expensive here now, there are no outlets anymore at Disney Springs because since they did the renovation two and a half years ago. Best dog in the galaxy. What? Look. Ohana means family. I mean, is that the most perfect one? But they're made for big puppies. I need that Ohana one, but for, oh, yeah, wait, wait, wait. They got little dog one. But see, these ones catch her fur. She's itchy. Like, she didn't like that Mickey one that I bought her. I mean, I have to get her a, a leather one because she was itching. So right now she doesn't have a collar on. And once her shots are all completed, plus I think the next one they give her her rabies. Um, we'll do the chipping when she gets spayed, but I guess she can't get spayed till she's 16 weeks. She'll be 13 weeks tomorrow, so she's not old enough to get spayed. So we'll figure we'll do all the, the surgical things together. Just not to traumatize Riley Ray, and I'm not trying to traumatize my child. <laughs> Rob's like, no, let's just, you know, let's not keep doing things to her. I'm like, I know, we'll wait when it's time. But that one's pretty small. That's cute. They said at uh, 16 weeks she'll be able to get um she'll be able to get the uh, the neuter spay neuter thing. Fatties. Oh, what? It's called fatties. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Nice. Cute. That's cute though, right? Oh, awesome. Well, hi, Tommy. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Yay, you made it. Well, welcome to the stream. Oh, where's the squeaker? Oh, there it is. She loves all her toys, by the way, from Auntie Ruby. And all of you guys that sent her, she loves her toys. She's just adorable. Mm, Yorkie in a bag. No, she not want a Yorkie in a bag, but they got an Australian Shepherd in a bag. Doxies, wiggle butts. Oh, shake your money maker. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. <gasps> Look, it's Lily. Where's Melanie? It's Lily. It looks like Lily. There's no oh, goofy boxer. Border collies. These are so cute. Oh, oh, we got one. Oop, as she drops things. You have an Aussie, yay. Oh, but it's a tricolor. Awesome Aussies, yay. Australian Shepherds are the best. We love them so much. <laughs> These are adorable. Oh, nice. 
Well, welcome, welcome. Oh, she went home. Mel, Mel's home with her parents, her family, and her baby. She got to take care of her baby. Lily's with her mama. You know, you got to spend time with your fur babies. They get bitter on you. And then, I don't know if you guys are, so you're, I'm trying to reacquaint you. Krishan's like, where's the alley? Here's Earl of Sandwich. And then here's the pen shop. Here's the little train that's been here since the 90s too, you know. You know, and th this might be the store that you're talking about. It's a Star Wars store now. But here's Earl of Sandwich, and then here's the pen trading across the way. So, yeah, you have a golden, oh, so sweet. Yes, all the fandoms. <laughs> it's cool. It is currently 60. Uh, low power. Phone's been, watch has been on my arms. It's still 66 and clear. Yes, I'm wearing a, a jacket just because it's kind of cool. Yep, coolish. There we go. Welcome, welcome, guys. It was so nice seeing you guys at the store. This has become a Star Wars store now. So, is this the story you're talking about, Sean? Yep, there you go. Star Wars. Star Wars is life. Well, because it makes sense. The, uh, the void. Oh, let's walk over to the void. Ooh. Is that Snope? Snope. Snope. Snoke. I have Snope on the brain, girl. All right. Girl is thinking about fake snow, but it's Snoke. 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 It rhymes, okay? <laughs> Pretty. Oh, yes, Dockside Margaritas. I know, Mitch. We got to go by Dockside. It's good. They do throw back Thursdays, and they serve some drinks that they used to serve at, like, um, ooh, lightsabers. But Because these are the ones that go up on your wall. These are not combat sabers. I repeat, these are not combat sabers. They go on your wall safely. I'll have to show you guys uh, Rob's lightsaber collection. <laughs> Yeah, it's like a, you can make like a little build your own like saber. You could pick the hilt pieces to it. Super fun, you know. But if you want to just like save your dollars and go to like Vader's Vault or Ultra Sabers and get yourself like a combat saber that, you know, you can actually do combat with. And that's super fun. But yeah, it's a giant Star Wars store. Can't say I'm, you know, it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. It's pretty awesome. But there's quite a few um, Star Wars toys. I mean, stores now. Okay, so that's that. And here's the gallery. Remember, we walked by the gallery. Um, I'm trying to help you guys orientate, orientate yourself from. And here's the carousel, still here since the beginning of time. Um, there's the carousel, and then there's a Christmas store we were just at. Um, there's a ring carver here too. You don't have to go to Mexico Pavilion at Epcot. If you need a ring done, you can do it here. Um, Art of Disney is right over there, still there, and then there's Rainforest. So it's kind of down this little alley. There's that Mickey's Pantry um, that they sell the spices and all that other cooking stuff right there, right next to Earl's Sandwich. So, yeah, we just kind of made like a big old loop in this little, like, back section over here but see if there's anything good at the pin store oh they got all the jackets out now cat collars yay tom and mitch at dockside i don't know them i should go by over there and say hi no i no i don't know those bartenders but i'll go say hi i'll say mitch sent me <laughs> They're still doing like, yeah, this is a very extensive store. Let me see, I don't see any new Magic Bands. I'm just being nosy right now. Yeah, I didn't buy the Rocket Ralph one. I'm being weird. They still have Enfy's Nest if you haven't bought that one. Here's Once Upon a Toy. Ooh, I didn't show you guys the void. And we're kind of back where the beginning of the Christmas tree trail DJ dance party is. So we just kind of made a big loop. But the void is right here. If you've not done this Star Wars experience, it is so worth it. It is so good. And it's like a VR experience. It's super fun. Totally worth, you know, a trip to do this. You work tower? Oh, <laughs> uh, 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 oh, here we go. Oh, no. 
Punky. Yeah, cha cha slide. Oh lordy, here we go, here we go. Clap, clap, clap. I'm and dancing. Back. To the right, face is way. To the left. Left. Take it back, man. Take it back. One off this track. And higher. Right foot, left step. Stump the right foot. Left foot, left step. Stump the left foot. Cha cha, man. Cha cha. Last time to get the ball. Everybody. To the right, to the right, face. Again. To the left. Left. Take it back, man. Take it back. One off this track. And high. One off this track. And high. Right foot, two stumps. One. Dancing. Slide to the left. Slide. Slide to the right. Slide. Chris Cross. 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 Dancing. Cha cha, real smooth. Cha up. And back. Up. And back. To the right. Face this way. To the left. Left. Take it back, y'all. Take it back. Two offs this time. Hop. Hop. Two offs this time. Hop. Hop. Right foot. Two stops. Right foot. Left foot. Left foot. Two stops. Stop. Stop. Hands on your knees. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm waiting. And back. Back. And turn it up. To the right, face three. To the left. Left. Take it back, y'all. Take it back. Five hops this time. Ooh, one, two, three, four, five. Right foot, left foot. Stop. Left foot, left foot. Left. Right foot, in. Right foot. Left foot, in. Right foot, let's stop. Everybody clap your hands. Oh, not today. I got backpacks, a rig. I can pretend. I can pretend. <laughs> yeah. Last time we danced here, we had Tanya and Melanie and Scott and Vicky were right here. <laughs> Oh, but, uh, oh dear, what are we doing? What are we doing? Oh my. Put your hands up in the air. Oh dear, here we go. Oh, you're welcome, Sean. Oh, here we go. I'm at the dance party because I have no shame in my game. Woo! Sean's in the house. How am I dancing again? I'm telling you. Hit, hit. I'll keep it shuffle. To the right. Left, left, left. Moving again. Oh, right, right. Left, 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 left. Hit, hit. Come on, keep it shuffle with me. To the left, to the left. Kick, kick, kick. <laughs> I'm delirious. This is what happens. All right, all right. I was trying to show you the void. <laughs> it's Sean. Sean came to visit me tonight. I didn't even realize he was sitting at the bar. I was like so oblivious. I felt so bad. <laughs> I know. Where is Ruby tonight? Yes. Yes. Aw. Yes. It's so secret to the empire. It's so good. You need to do it. There's Bebbity Bobbity Boutique. It used to be Inside World of Disney. It has its own now. Cake. Cake. Yeah, I just need bubbles. In Beulah. We just need an Ohana dance party right here at Disney Springs. We need to all come here and just go ahead and have a dance party. Here's your Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique for the children. It's awesome. And there's your Christmas tree trail. I'll do it. Oh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Here we go. Oh, ho, 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 ho. 
Oh boy. Oh, you're doing Wreck-It Ralph at the Void? You said they have it here now, right? It's not just Secrets of the Empire? Oh, I see it, I see it. There it is, there's Vanellope. Nice, I need to do that one. I haven't done that one. I've only done Star Wars one. Okay, let's walk away from the Michael Jackson because we're probably gonna get copyright. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let me know how it is, Sean. I definitely want to do it. I've only done Star Wars like three times. I haven't done the Wreck-It Ralph one yet. Woo! Oh, Brad did it last week? Nice. Here's Once Upon a Toy. Train's not running. There's Trendy. That's where we sprayed ourselves with Layla, the essence of Norway. All right, let's see what's going on at Dockside Margaritas. I'm not having a margarita. I am way too tired for adult beverages. <laughs> I would fall down, go boom. Go, go night night right here. That's what would happen. Can't believe how busy it is for Tuesday. I mean, it's it's. There's no live music today though. There's no, the guy's gone. He usually plays the guitar right here. <laughs> yes, right. It is a splash pad during the day. It's too cold for that right now though. Ooh, I need to get my, up. Oh, they're closing down the bar. Is it really that time? Oh yeah. There's your dockside margaritas. Although, Mitch, you now have a squeeze bottle, like Sean, you know where to come for the good cocktails. <laughs> Let's go get us a fuel rod real quick. <clears throat> Tuesday booze day, I agree. <laughs> I streamed all night last of all. We caught it late. We streamed to like past 11 o'clock. Then I slept for two hours and came to work all day. So that's why I'm just running on pure delirium right now. <laughs> yes. Oh, it ends at 10. Oh, okay. That's 10.30, you mean 11? Yes. Oh, it's packed, girl. It's been packed since he saw Magic Kingdom last night. It was bananas. Yeah, I don't have to work till the afternoon, so I'm hoping. Yeah, it's packed, though, for Disney Springs itself. This is busy. Here's Aribas Brothers to your left, Ghirardelli and that's Basin. That's where we washed our hands. <clears throat> but, oh, this is the place that's closed now though, but that's where you can get your Dole Whip without having to go to the park. They have it right here, Dole Whip and uh, Dole Float and then the Root Beer Floats there too. Here's Ghirardelli. Four Rivers truck is closed. If you're really gonna come down to Florida though, you need to get yourself some real Four Rivers. Not just the food truck, but go to a Four Rivers restaurant. So delicious. Yeah, I'm working. Uh, tomorrow you won't see me Thursday. You're... Thursday's Thanksgiving. Still up in the air, ooh. I see fireworks or something. There was something over there. It was lights. It made it look like fireworks. There's a dance party going on over there. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I have something. My Yeti is spilling, I feel it. Hang on. Jen's Yeti. My Yeti is spilling. Still has iced coffee in it. Oh, they're dancing. That's so sweet. Squat, snack 
goals. <laughs> Never leave home without your Yeti. It's leaking all over my bag. Uh-oh. Felt like... Okay, I think we're good. It's just coffee. No, um, hmm. They don't have the rum though, although we could go over here and buy some rum or buy a shot of rum and add it on. That's a good idea, Sean. Yep. Not quite Polynesian, but you can buy rum from Dockside or Joffrey's has um, like Bailey's and stuff. And then you have these carts now right here. You have this lovely gentleman that sells you cocktails right here. I would go buy a shot of whatever you would like and uh yeah put it on there yeah they have the they have a pretty i don't know what they have going on now it's all broken down but the one over there by the marketplace i know they have like basic you know vodka rum tequila some whiskey yep But absolutely, it would be good. It would be better if there was rum. Yeah, not the rest of the week. I'm not streaming tomorrow or Thursday. I, I don't know about Thursday yet. I said I, I'm going to try. But Rob is off Thursday now. And... He was going to take Riley to a Thanksgiving party, but there's dogs and cats. And she's not supposed to be around other animals at the moment because, you know, she hasn't gotten all her shots. And I'm trying to be a good mama and not get my puppy all sick. So we may just do a Riley Ray stream. Like, you're going to, whatever we decide to do, Thanksgiving. I would like to take her here maybe because she's okay with people, just not other dogs. So, um, definitely tomorrow, no, just because I don't get out of work till 2.30. So, nothing is open at that point in time. But Thursday, I will let you know for sure. But I would like to go live on Thursday just to say Happy Thanksgiving to you guys and all of that good stuff. Um, yes. Ooh, Thursday night at the new Wolfgang Puck Bar might be a thing. Okay, sounds good. It's going to be a poor judgment crew kind of thing. That's awesome. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Alicia. Oh, no. <laughs> this needs a Starbucks. <laughs> Turkey like th Tuesday. Oh. <laughs> We love our Riley Ray, but you'll definitely see her on Thursday because I, I told her, yeah, he he can't go to a party with other animals just because they told us not to. She can be around people, just not dogs. Plus, what if they're mean to her? She's a puppy, you know. <sighs> get it, get it. No, Mitch, no. That's a long time, Mitch. 35 days, what is wrong with you? Ooh, that looks good. You need to have the sugar-free brownie. Best thing ever is you can have your Starbucks card on your watch. You don't even have to whip out your card anymore. It's great. Here's the Starbucks mugs. $12.95, not a bad price. Theme park capital of the world. I'm trying to like twist it around so you can see it better. That's a long time, Mitch. I can't believe it. Yes. Oh, I have sanitizer attached to my bag. Although, speaking of sanitizer, I gotta go buy another Disney sanitizer because somebody chewed the lid off my sanitizer. I wonder who that could be. 
Oh, you got a holiday one. So shiny. All right. Could I get a Trenta strawberry green tea infusion? Uh, no liquid cane. Could I, no liquid cane. Uh, and can I get 13 Splenda? <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. No lemonade. Oh, do you need my cast ID? Yeah. And he said no liquid Yes. 13 Splendas. Yes. <laughs> I know, right? No, I just want to make sure I get it right. I'm trying to be like, good. You need to start carrying a sugar free brownie. They have that awesome um, OMG, it's gluten free, sugar free one. I know they sell it at uh, the Starbucks at Epcot, but I know yes, it's different. Right. Yeah, she chewed the lid of my Haunted Mansion sanitizer because she's a dog. <laughs> she's a puppy. I have to go buy another Disney sanitizer for my bag. Luckily, she didn't chew the rose gold backpack because she would be in very, very much trouble because she's so naughty. Five seconds. She's very quick, that dog. Yeah, Riley Ray, you got it, Heidi. <laughs> Oh yeah, she's yeah. I'm gonna be like that crazy person here. You wanna pet my dog? Here, sanitizer. Absolutely. Ooh, they're playing good songs. Dance. Are you dancing too? Oh boy, there you go. Everybody's dancing. Yes, they get a new Christmas. No, they don't have a dog bakery here at Disney. I wish they did. They really should. Eats plastic. I know that dogs are like crazy. Hey, Justin, how are you? Just got off work after working like 14 hours. I'm a little delirious. I'm running on two hours sleep, but I missed you guys so much. I just had to come on. Yeah, the lettering is gold. It's pretty. It's probably not microwavable, but adorbs. I'll look at it again. I know it's here somewhere. Sorry. Oh. I'm just going to look at the mug again real quick. It's very pretty. This one is 14. I'm looking at your mug. He's <laughs> very pretty. Yep, and that one's $14.95. Hey, Justin. I know. I'm delirious. I'm. They, oh, is that me? 13 Splendor? Oh yeah. <laughs> I like it. It's good. Alright, good night Natalie. I'll be headed out this way too. Let's go get the... Um, <clears throat> yeah, I need to go pick up another sanitizer clip on because somebody is bananas and likes to eat things. You know what? Let's go this way. Sorry. Oh, they changed that. That's different now. The little Lego dolls. That's cute. All right. Now we're on the market, the new side of the marketplace. This is the daily poutine where you can get your poutine. <laughs> uh, but it's right here. And there's Amaretz, that's where all those delicious Mickey Celebration um, desserts were. Everything in there is so pretty. Like, it's too pretty to eat. Yeah, oh, so sorry. Yes, it's really pretty, I agree. Oh, I won't stay up too late. I will definitely be headed that way. I mean, I'm winding down. Ooh, Uniqlo, we were gonna go in there and try to go find that denim jacket so I can make some sassy patches and get that jacket going. 
Here's your poutine flavors. Classic, Latin, Italian, and French. The mushroom cream sauce, but it needs like meat or something. Ooh, holiday turkey poutine. That sounds delicious. Mmm. Ooh, that sounds so good. Oh, I bought her some. I went to uh, the other day when I went to the movies, you know. Um, I was like, we we're talking to the mods. I went to Menchie's. Rob said I could have Menchie's because <laughs> they have the, the mochi uh, toppings on there. So we went to Menchie's and we're like, we hate that. Everything's fat free. We need fat, you know. But so after the movies, after Fantastic Beast, we went to, um, it's like this really pretty area called Colonial Grand in um, Lake Mary, Heathrow area. It's really pretty. They have a lot of outdoor shops and restaurants. And um, they have, it's called Wolfgang, Wolfgang Pucks or something like Wolfgang's Bakery, but it's for dogs. That's, they had like all the fancy toys and stuff in there. But yes, um, I did get her a treat from there. So we're going to go inside Unique Clo. Look, the vests are $39.90. Yeah, there's like, ooh, Black Friday then, $29.90 for the puppy jackets. Oh, those are kids. Okay. But this place is amazing. They had good prices on shirts and stuff. All right, let's go find that jacket. Ooh, that one's nice. This long one trench. Good deal for Black Friday deals already. Sweatpants, what is that down? I do like that little trench, it's cute. All right, puffy jackets. I know you're laughing at us right now. All of you guys that are in Ohio, Michigan, New York, New Jersey, I know you're laughing at us right now. I, I know you are. <laughs> you're judging us with your judgy eyes going what is even wrong with these Floridians it ain't that cold and they're bundled up like burritos it's true last year they were sold out of these I am not even kidding you sold out when we had that like cold front uh, January or February sold out <laughs> yeah they have good prices and it's cute I know, I need to go see that, Justin. Yeah, I need to go back to Universal soon. I need to do the whole Grinchmas, Macy's Parade, and then Mannheim Steamroller. I do need to go do that. Ultra light down, I love it. I need one that's like this long though, cause you know, it's gonna be cold soon. I like the red, it's sassy. That's cute, it has a hood too, right? 100 bucks for that, it is very light. It's very nice. <clears throat> Parkas. These are really cute. The fur lined hoodies. Ooh, are they like fuzzy on the inside? Ooh, they look fluffy. Hang on. Oh yeah, they're fluffy on the inside. Oh, those are the best. Oh, fluffy sweatpants. Oh my gosh, I'm never leaving the house if I have those on. Cute. All right, where are the denim jackets at? Cute, cute, cute. Oh yeah, there's always Black Friday deals here. The last two years that I've, I've worked here, there are. So absolutely, every store has some kind of Black Friday deal here at Disney Springs. So make sure you definitely come. Um, I know even if it's Florida we have cold weather you guys know if you were here January, February, March and April it was cold they have Basquiat stuff wow super cool a lot of cute men's stuff all these little plaid shirts adorable very cute Fluffy yarn fleece jacket. Mm. Trying to keep my eyes peeled for that jean jacket. <clears throat> Maybe they don't have it because it's all winter stuff right now. 
<clears throat> I really hope I'm not getting sick, but my throat's a little twingly. Oh, they're selling um, like Under Armour stuff too, like the, the extra warm stuff. I bought mine, these are just leggings. I had the top, um, Costco has them. They're like a little like medium layer, not super hot like this, but it was like $8. So if you guys have a Costco buy you, like those little Under Armour, like long sleeve shirts are awesome. $24.90, here's some early uh, deals. A lounge set that's fleece, uh, right up my alley. I keep my house at like 67 degrees, so this is like, my pajamas are all like this, like fleece, because I like, I'm a weird texture person, I'm sure you guys are too, where I don't like anything scratchy to touch me, like when I'm sleeping, I like soft things, like fluffy blanket, like if it's a scratchy sheet, I won't use it, so I, the blanket that I sleep on is like that microfiber fleece comforter that I got from Costco, but all my pajamas are fleece, most of them, because they're just fluffy. <laughs> so cozy. We just gotta crank up the AC. Oh yeah, these things, see? They're $14.90 here, you can get them for like $8 at Costco. Hey, welcome back, Rosie. You love Fantastic Beast, nice. I am, I'm gonna take my vitamins. I, You do too? Yeah, me too. I'm a weird, like, it's a texture thing. Like, I don't like scratchy fabric, but Walmart, a lot of my, like, pajama sets that I've gotten were from Walmart, but, like, I, this is a good deal, though. I wonder if you can get a discount on top of it, but very cute. Too bad they're not Disney, <laughs> but it's cute nonetheless. All right, reading glasses. I've never tried their, all right, here you go. Where's all like the Mickey stuff? We've got some Celebrate Mickey 90th anniversary stuff here, 90th birthday stuff. Ooh, special price. These are all kids. Uh, where are all the adult stuff? Yeah, oh cool. See, I'm not the only one then, maybe. <laughs> Ooh, Peter Pan. $14.90. See, that's what I'm talking about. Jam Jams. Ooh, Cindy. $10. Look at that. It's on sale, y'all. $9.90. $10 hairs. That is not a bad price. Little Mermaid and Cindy. So many cute designs. Oh, the pocket tee, $10. This is kind of cute. I like that. Ooh, more stuff. <clears throat> oh, I like those jeggings. Cute. $14.90. They have these, like a regular. Right? Exactly, Heidi. I bet and I get my, yeah, a thousand points for soft things. I agree, guys. Yeah, soft bedding. <laughs> yeah, I've, I mean. You know, I'll get them at Walmart, I'll get them at Target, as long as they're fleece like that, so good. Ooh, nice, yeah, wherever you can get a good deal, you know. Grab $5.90, that's a good deal. <clears throat> I mean, sometimes some of the art isn't my favorite, like the illustrations, but some of them are interesting. And they have like, Somebody's having a meltdown. Ruh row. Giggle, giggle, giggle a mile away. Oh, girl stuff. Smiles, bows, and polka dots. Mickey knows a smile will always help things when things get tough. Oh, cute. Oh, right here. I'm trying to like back up and show you the poster.
<laughs> yeah, absolutely, Pam. I mean, every day, for every day, we're inside Uniqlo, Carrie. Yeah, great stuff, good quality. Um, yeah, we're inside Uniqlo. I haven't tried their jeans, you know, but like those jeggings are like, I'm wearing jeggings right now. I'm like, where's the mirror? Or ish. Super skinny jeans. <laughs> I can't really tell, but I'm kind of wearing my super skinnies as well. But I only ever buy denim like jeans from Hollister because of the fact that I get them when they're on sale, when they're $25, when they're half off. I don't ever have to try it on. I can grab it and go. Like I know it's going to fit me. These are cute. Oh, these are for babies. 20 bucks. You get a bib and an outfit. So that's pretty cute onesie. Cute, you guys. Yeah. Yes, Carrie. Uniqlo is a great, great store. It's like Japanese Old Navy, pretty much. It's really cute, though. They got this Basquiat um, collection. I remember when he came out with his Mac collection. Ooh, what's going on with this Pokemon business over here? What? Let the Pokemon universe inspire you to create. Oh, it's inspiration. It's a competition. There you go. Cute. Express, gotcha. <clears throat> I used to buy a lot from Express when I was, I did when I, um, what do you call them? Like boot cut, boot cut for sure. I used to buy them there all the time. I just like their jeggings and these ones are the ones that have pockets so they're a little bit thicker. But like I always should try to catch because I know I don't have to try it on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Jeans are so personal that you, you totally, these are so cute, these Pac-Man ones. Is that Space Invaders? Oh my gosh, adorable. Pac-Man, Space Invaders, I love it. Look at that price though, that is, it's like a Japanese Old Navy, exactly, Carrie. Oh, that's sweet, Heidi. Yes, exactly, Joel Japanese. They do have good jeans at Express, yeah. I still shop in Juniors, that's why like, I'm the weirdo that shops at Hollister, but like all my jean shorts, all my jeans are from there, and I know I always wait till it's that 50%, like $25 for a pair of jeans sale. I'm not ever paying full price for it, that's just crazy. And then they have like the free shipping, or I have them ship it to the store and pick it up there if they don't have the size. But like, because I've had a lot of um, like jeans and shorts that I've had for years, like I'm talking five to ten years and I've had them forever um, they just keep on taking fans but these are the little fans we want those big fans these are cute Katami graphic t-shirt they have these let's go upstairs we have an upstairs too oops sorry <laughs> Ooh, they are underwear you need some undies to get undies more fleece jackets we're we're swimming in ultra light down jackets because it's so cold in Florida. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> no, seriously though. They got under underwear, but puffy jackets. They have a whole puffy jacket section. They're being prepared because last year they ran out. Not even kidding. Oh, let's see. Under undergarments, undergarments. All sorts of undergarments. Exactly, Alice. You know what I mean? Like, you stick to what you know, like, and that's why you just go with that size. Like, that's the size you know, and it fits me, like, it fits me on my waist. I never have to, like, get them hemmed or anything like that, because I'm actually very short-waisted. I'm all leg. I have no torso. So I can definitely wear regular. Like, short jeans are too short for me. Um, yeah, I have a very short torso. I'm all leg. So, but I know I can order like regular length jeans from Hollister and they're gonna fit me no matter what. But it's good. Ooh, there's perks on the app. I didn't even know that. For a limited time, download the Uniqlo app and get $3 off today's purchase of $10 or more. Well then, get a $5 coupon. I didn't even know they had that. I 
I have never been up here. <laughs> Yes, American Eagle too. Yep. They got cute stuff in there. Keith Herring Gold Collection. You need to get dressed up in a pinch. You pajamas, 20 bucks. Look at that. Just regular pajamas, $20. Come here. Don't pay $70 for Disney pajamas. Come to Uniqlo. Underwear, underwear. Dress shirts. Black Friday event. Oh, these pants look comfortable. Look fluffy. You're so fluffy. Exactly, Carrie. Exactly. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, but you know what I mean. We're all kind of... We're all kind of... Like, we have our things that we like, but that's good. Sweater pullover hoodie. I'm all for comfort. Like, the last thing I want to do is like, oh, yeah, all of this fleece, micro fleece, I just want to roll around in it. It is so soft. Oh, beans. And gloves. That's another, like, come here, $10. Like, you know, when it's, like, you got stuck and it's cold when you're here and you didn't dress appropriately, don't spend all that money. Come here, you can buy this stuff for at least reasonable prices. Oh, we need the poo. Uh-oh. Somebody running off of the stuff. I'm so sorry. That's a little sweater. That's cute. Little boy section. There's a baby section. Yeah, little girls. Oh, girls. Not little girls, but girls. That's a cute like little Ewok jacket. Is that a baby shark in there? Baby shark? Nope, just <laughs> cute. Magic for all. Oh, it is the Disney one. Cute. That's for little kids though. Very cute. French coat for kids. Daisy duck. Yeah, some adorable things. I'm wearing big shoes though. Alright, even with shoes, I'm right here. I'm wearing my big shoes. I'm wearing my work shoes right now. So look, look at these things. Look at the size of these things. <laughs> <laughs> hey Lacey, how are you? We're inside Uniqlo at Disney Springs. Uh oh, cute. Okay. Is it like a, a two way blanket? Oh, that's kind of neat. Baby onesies. Oh, here's your heat tech extra warm stuff because you know it's, it's cold in Florida. <laughs> but. They sell all of this stuff in here too. That's so cool. Boy, they really stocked up on these puffy jackets, you guys. <clears throat> these are so cute. All right, now in the ladies department. Cashmere. Cashmere makes me itch though. Ooh, that's so cute. Oh, that's not a bad price. The wine color, is it double breasted or single? It's a single breasted. That's a pretty coat. These are cute. Oh, it's a wool coat. Wool makes me itch too. I don't know why that is. I made 66. You know we're wimpy here. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Good night, Amy. Thanks for hanging tough, girl. I do have a torso, but it's short. Like, I'm, like, I don't know, like, I'm short-waisted. <laughs> um, I do have one It's just short. Like, you know when you go to REI and you go buy yourself, like, a, 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 
an expensive investment like hiking backpack like a good one you know and they measure you at rei like because they have to measure you from like your the straps the where all the make sure it sits right and where it goes it hits your hip so if it's like a 50 i think it was a 55 gallon backpack that i was buying like a true hiking backpack and they were measuring it and they're like it was like 16 inches from the nape of my neck like c7 like at the end of your cervical vertebrae right there all the way to like my waist is like 16 inches so like she had to fit my backpack and that's why i'm like i know i'm short-waisted but you know buying a custom backpack was not easy <laughs> so <clears throat> but it makes it easy buying jeans because i can buy regular length jeans or long and i can it'll fit me short jeans don't fit me like the length you know you can buy regular long or short yeah short jeans will not fit they'll be like capris well it'll be short <laughs> mm, scratchy too see yeah, I'm 5'2". I used to be 5'2 and 3 quarters. I honestly think I've shrank. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Ooh. What's 29.90? The scarf? The blouse. Okay, I was going to say, it's not the jacket. The jacket is 80 bucks. Um, there's blankies. Ooh, there's Disney blankies. Oh, these are nice, guys. This is a good price. This fleece blanket... $29.90, check it out. Can be buttoned or used as a poncho. What do you mean buttoned? It's very soft. Look, it's got the fluffy side. Mm-hmm. But where do you button it? I'm confused. Is there a button somewhere? Mm. Where the buttons be? I guess it'll be good. I'm watching fireworks and I'm freezing blanket. Disney holiday collection. 30 bucks. This is a good price for a Disney blanket. Ooh, there's poo. Oh, here you go. Here's all the designs, guys. The poo one is pretty. That's nice. And you have this one with the constellations. That's a good price. See, Carrie, we're all shrinking, girl. We're all shrinking. But that's, it's a nice blanket. Like, I'm not, it's not super thick, but it's pretty thick. It's got the fluffy on the one side and then the fleece. It's very soft. And I mean, how much are the blankets when we go to the park? And like the holiday ones that are wrapped up, what, $59.90? They're usually 60 bucks or more. This is an excellent alternative to that. And that's really soft. And those Disney ones are not very thick either. Like the holiday blankets, you know what I'm talking about. They come wrapped up in the squares. But this is 30 bucks. Can't beat it. Buffalo plaid. <laughs> I love buffalo plaid. I have a problem with buffalo plaid. Oh, this one is really pretty. It's a different Pooh Bear one. Look. Hang on, I'm trying to back up so you can see it. Yes, it would be 60 bucks in the park for real. I love throws. I always need more throws, like, in the house. Yeah, I do like the Pooh Bear one. It's very cute. How much is this one? $29.90. I love that one. But, yep, two kinds of Pooh Bears. And another Disney holiday collection. Warm fleece. Oh, there you go. We were looking for loungewear. $29.90, but these are Disney ones. They're like the ones we saw downstairs, but these are great gifts right here. Comfortable and squishy. That's the way we like it. <laughs> yeah, these will be awesome. Heck, I'd wear these to Mickey's Not So, uh, Mickey's Not So Scary, Mickey's Very Merry if it was cold and you can't find pajamas. You're going to spend $70 on those Disney pajamas? Wear these. Be comfortable. I wish they had more Christmassy colors, but you could get that matching blanket right there. And then here's the top. It's very soft. And let me look at the pants. Yeah, they're not joggers. They're like open, you know, loose. That would be really, really comfortable to wear. What's that one? Oh, there's a Minnie Mouse one. So only one mini left. Let's see. Mm. 
there's one in an extra small, but see pajamas I don't like in an extra small. I'll get them in a smaller or medium. You don't want to be squished. Oh, this would be cute. There's only one left though. I'm wondering if the extra small ones like not. This one's a large, so I guess for sizing. It looks like a regular sized large. Like it doesn't look like it's too small or yeah, it looks like it's generous. Oh, here they are. <laughs> awesome, Sherry. See, look at all the short people here. We're all little. Okay, we're not short or thin size. Yeah, it would be good and way more inexpensive and way more comfortable. You see how comfy it would be? I totally would wear that. If it's cold on the 9th, I'll just come here and get one of these sets and just be squishy and comfortable. Do they have pockets? Like, they, they could even go out with them. I mean, they're kind of nice. Like, they don't look like jam jam, jam jams. It looks cute. I like it. Room shoes, like little slippers. They, they have several designs, so you could totally just do that. Oh, I see. There you go. That's what it looks like if you like wear it like a poncho. That's very cute. Yes, we're fun size, yep. <laughs> yeah, they're soft. If you like fleece, beanies. Totally. You guys got, everybody's got to hit up Uniqlo then. Scarves. Two way stools. Yeah, that is so big like last season, but I love wearing scarves with the like your, your little tweed little wool coat. Love it, love it. <laughs> oh, no pajamas. Hang on. There's no pajamas. Yep, if why not go here and buy cotton pajamas too if you want matching? There's these. $24.90. You could wear these to the Christmas party. There you go. They're on sale right now. 100% cotton. You can get matching ones if you want to dress the whole family together. They're just regular cotton pajamas, but just put a Mickey pin on. You'd be good. Those pajamas are so cute. Ooh, flannel pants. $10. There you go. Get it, just wear like a, get one of the Mickey Raglans or something and just buy your pants from in here. You could do that too. Like get one of the Christmas party Raglan shirts and then just buy these pants. Options, we have options. Five ninety. Oh, leggings. Cool. Oh, there's more squishy stuff. So cute. Oh, they have underwear. I did not know that. More blankies? Oh my gosh. Billy Ray in the car. <laughs> like to just leave in my car as like her blankie. <clears throat> All right, let's get the going. I think they're closing, so let's get out of here. I don't wanna be that person. All right. Yeah, they have a lot of cute stuff in here, guys. I'm glad you, we shopped it together because I've never even been upstairs. Miss, I was missing out on all the good stuff, apparently. All right, how to get back down. <clears throat> Very cute. Um, size range looks like a lot of them you know I didn't see it extra small looks like the smallest let's see how big just on average I think it only goes to XL 
that's not a very big size range. Is it because Japanese people are a little... <clears throat> well, that's a bummer. Or maybe, um, like, get a men's size or something if it's, like, too small. I mean, it is kind of a limited um, range. What was that? What is that um, clothing company that they only sell everything in one size? It's like a junior's one. Oh, I can't remember. I was watching a thing on it on YouTube. Um, I can't remember. What's a clothing company that's like a junior's one? It's like two words. It's something. Mia Maples did a thing about it, like where they only sell all their clothes in one size. It's supposed to be one size fits all, but like that's not true, you know? <laughs> I can't remember what clothing line it is. Ooh, look at these shirts. But she was doing like a try on. These are cute. Sweatshirt dresses. Exactly, Carrie. But these are great prices compared to what you would spend for. You could buy 30 bucks. You could buy two and a half. Two and a half things here for one. Okay, think about, okay. You could buy two sweatshirts or two things here for the price of one spirit jersey. A spirit jersey is $65 now. Think about that. Yeah, you could buy two things <laughs> in there for the price of one spirit jersey. Crazy. Oh, I can't remember. Not Bell Madison. It's something. Oh my gosh, it's on the tip of my tongue. But it's like a junior's line of clothes that they only sell everything in like one size. Here's the Lime Garage, by the way. Here's the Polite Pig. Um, here's your Under Armour store. You have the Pearl Shop is here. And then on the other side down this alley, that's like where your um, Alex and Ani stores are and the Pandora stores over there. Here's your super dry store. Is it over here, Sean? There's your sock store right there, stands. <clears throat> yes, and that's what you do. Like, that's what you do at the uh, Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. That's when you actually wear um, pajamas. That's kind of a thing. Here you go, Black Friday deals, 30% off everything super dry. They're very well made, like Super Dry. It's like it's a London-based company, actually, but I know it's kind of like <laughs> British, Japanese Abercrombie when they were good. You remember when Abercrombie was actually good, and like the stuff was very thick, well-made stuff would last you forever. That's what Super Dry reminds me of, and I love their backpack. They got the cutest things. Like Rob's, all of Rob's little cargo shorts, they come from here. But he only catches them when they have a sale because that's expensive. <laughs> yeah. Here's your sock store. Kiehl's, you need some good skin care. Go into Kiehl's. Ooh, so fancy. Randy Melville. Thank you, Carrie. Get it, girl. That's the one I'm going to say. Thank you. You read my mind. You're so good. <laughs> yes, Carrie, you need one of everything. Brandy Melville. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. At least I don't go have past 2XL. Okay. Do, 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 do. Yeah, super dry is awesome. Yeah, I don't see the book cost is. Oh, there it is, there it is. It's next to Sephora Bunny, not super dry. If you said Sephora, I definitely know where it would have been. <laughs> Come on now, Sean. You gotta, you, you gotta say Sephora. <laughs> I do need to go pick up a booty blender. It's not a beauty blender, it's a booty blender. Cause, oh no, they're closed. Ding, ding. Missed it, it's 11. That's okay, mine's falling apart. But I always use a beauty blender to put on my, my foundation, at least to dab it up. But here's your Lacoste store. Oh, it's cute here. We'll just uh, be all nosy and stuff. Cute. 
I remember Lacoste from like, gosh, the 90s. Making a comeback. Oh, that's cute. Very simple, but I like it. But, I mean, I'm sure it costs a lot of doll hairs. It's very cute, though, guys. Yes, Abercrombie was my thing in high school. Me too, girl. Abercrombie and Hollister. Yes, Brandy Melville, exactly. It runs really, really small. You're welcome, Pam. Yes, <laughs> Sephora is the bomb. Yep, but here's your La Costa. Look expensive, but there you go. Holiday tennis with Mickey Mouse. It's cute, it's cute. Go get yourself a Breitling or a Tag, Bulgari. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the tree is so pretty. Yeah, it's expensive. Mm. That's what I need to go do when I get home, actually. I need to go, I need to put in an internal application. Zara, ooh, another really inexpensive place. Not so much clothes. I haven't really, I mean, Zara is inexpensive. It's like from Spain. Fragrance. Um, they have like out of parfum, not just out of toilet. A lot of my scents, and you guys know have been with me a long time. I keep them in my purse. They have really good fragrance here at Zara. And you can get like a 3.4 fluid ounce like scent for like $20. $20. And they have the little travel ones for like $10, bucks, 9 90 But they have really, really good fragrance. It's usually in this, um, right by the register, they have it right in this pillar. Um, excellent fragrance inside Zara. Zara has really good stuff. Um, here's your guest relations center if you want to go buy your annual pass. It's a full service one. Change your fuel rod right in there. Anthropology. Melissa is the jelly shoe store. Like, you, you remember those jelly shoes from the 90s? They have jelly shoes. I, I try to pair. I mean, it just make your, you know, your feet sweat in Florida. It's just not... Jelly shoes were cute when we were little. Just not here. I don't know. Not my thing. But here's the coach store. It used to be Vince Camuto's, but now it is the coach store. Yes, the egg store, we're going to pass. It's on the way out. But here's some. It is now coach. It used to be Vince Camuto's. But if this is where you go through if you want to go to the bus. So just find the tree, make a right, and then you're going to end up in the bus loop right there. Ooh, that pink coat is cute. It is window shopping because it's closed. <laughs> My Christmas. Here's the Mac store. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And they're having that event for Tell Sunday Origin. So if you need some, um, the Izing, the Ginzing. I used to use Ginzing stuff for years. Mm. There's Kiehl's. There's an Origin still store here. There's Mac. There's Sephora. I'm telling you, you never have to leave. <laughs> like dirty sweat. Oh my gosh, girl. Totes. Totes. But it's a thing now. They sell them at this Melissa store. But I'm like, ugh, you're gonna pay like expensive for jelly shoes where we got for, we got them for ten bucks when we were kids. Here's your Kate Spade store. Here's your Kate Spade, Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse stuff. Cute. A lot of bow action going on. Yeah, the energizing eye cream. Yes, ma'am, it's very good. We got a Johnny Wass. We even have a free people. Another one that's expensive. <laughs> Yeah, we got a free people store. I do like their clothes and free people though, but like I think like I feel like I could go find it elsewhere for a cheaper price. But there's a free people. And then here's your Ugg store. <laughs> they don't yeah, we went in there the last time. I'm I'm a classic Ugg wearer, just a classic tall, like that's all I need. Don't have to be fancy. 
can't go wrong with a pair of classic talls. Ooh, look at that Ugg backpack though. Cute. Bow purses, yes Lynn, hey girl. Oh yeah, it's it's Disney Springs, yes. That's why I'm like, no, we don't have $5 outlets anymore, Sean, I wish. Ever since they remodeled Disney Springs, rent went up. So, no outlets at the Springs, it's just that expensive. Yeah, but hey, Uniqlo wasn't bad. Here's your Lily Pulitzer stuff, very West Palm. I feel like this is your South Florida wear. You know, <laughs> and, like we're gonna hang out at the Breakers on West Palm or in Palm Beach. But I do like some Lily stuff. I wouldn't go like pattern on pattern. I would do like pattern with a solid. So, a very pa Palm Beach Boca Babe store. <laughs> I die when I watch. It just, that's what it reminds me of. Here's your Sperry store. Boat shoes I get. <laughs> South Florida is the boating capital of the world. 50% off certain styles. Oh, wow. There you go. American Threads. Oh, that's a cute store. That is a cute store. They have some cute clothes in there. Very, very cute. Adorbs. Lucky. Lucky brand. Go to the outlet. There's an outlet right down the street that sells Lucky. Vera Bradley, again, you can find them at Character Warehouse if you're lucky. Not all the time, but they do have it. Um, yes, there you go, Johnston & Murphy, another expensive shoe store. <laughs> oh, Sugar Booze is a good store. They have very cute house stuff, very, like, kitschy, very, it's just adorable. Like, a lot of cute things for the house. A lot of cute little scenes and stuff, you know, if you've kind of got that whole farmhouse. Um, you know, like shabby chic kind of decoration, but there's a lot of cute things in here. Tommy Bahama, if you want to pay $250 for, <laughs> for a shirt, for a Hawaiian shirt. And of course, if you're really, really cold, you can go to Columbia. Ooh, they're selling $20 throws, but are they as nice as the ones from Unique Clo? I don't think so. Those look like, <laughs> we'll have to go in there one of these days. I wonder how much their puffy jackets are. Probably a lot. Hey, human, how are you? Oh, expensive, girl. I mean, I would say average prices. I mean, just think about it. We've got Tommy Bahama. That's expensive. <laughs> Johnston and Murphy. That's expensive. <laughs> Full price luckies. Yeah. Ugh, expensive and Columbia. I mean, they're pretty high end. That's why Uniqlo is a good store. Zara is a good store. You know, but most of the ones in here are a little bit more on the pricier end. Oh, here's the new Wolfgang Puck. They're about ready to soft open up in here. Or are they already open? If Sean was saying this might be a Thursday night hangout for um, Poor Judgment Crew, might be a good ohana hangout we're gonna have to come and eat here where's tanya i need luncheon with the ladies we need to come up in here and try the new wolfgang pucks it's beautiful it's gorgeous oh where's the menu do we have a menu i didn't even know they reopened already it's beautiful are they soft opened nosy all right let's see what we got Oh, they're doing apps like for the whole table, kind of like Wine Bar George. Bruschetta focaccia, roasted meatballs, butternut squash soup, Caesar, burrata. Oh, the burrata is good. I like burrata. Tandoori chicken wings. Ooh, crispy cauliflower. There you go. That's keto. Broccolini. Wow, they have broccolini. Yes, yes, yes. Pizza, pasta, entrees. There's a burger for sixteen doll hairs. They have a whole grilled sea bass with shaved fennel salad and pepperonata for thirty-nine dollars. A seared Florida red snapper 
aquapaza, clams, mussels, fingerling potatoes, and olives for 33. Housemade porchetta, buttercup squash puree, and apple for 29. Chicken schnitzel, marinated tomatoes, dill cucumbers, fingerling potatoes, and baby mosh, uh, 27. Pan roasted half a chicken with potato puree, sauteed vegetables, double blanched garlic, and lemon for 28. They have a mesquite grilled New York strip with crisp french fries, green peppercorn sauce for $49 hairs. And they have a 32 ounce porterhouse steak for two, served with crisp Tuscan potatoes, roasted elephant garlic for $84. There's also family style tasting menus for the whole entire table. Mm. Okay. It's, it's a little on the high end. Typical for table service restaurants, but that's pretty on the high end. <laughs> okay. They have a little gelato bar here. I didn't even know. This all open. This is, we're going to have to come here and do some like a taste testing. It's a gelato bar. Ooh, cup or cone. Specialty drinks. Ooh, tiramisu, you say. Two scoops of tiramisu gelato, espresso chocolate sauce, chocolate cigars, cocoa powder, and waffle chips. And then there's adult beverages. House-made limoncello, yum. What is that one? Sagrapino, raspberry sorbet, vodka, and prosecco. Mortimer's Margarita, Lime Sorbet, Tequila, Triple Sec, Monchito, Coconut Gelato, Myers, Dark Rum, and Pineapple. We're going to have to give this one a go. Brownie Bites, Coconut Tapioca. See what happens when you're like not running around on this end of Disney Springs for one day? Stuff opens. Oh, nice. Okay. All right, here. Let me go. Oh, yeah. You definitely have to check it out since they redid it for sure. There's a lot of cool things to do. I mean, you know, there's different things. There's Disney prices. There's the higher-end stores down. Um, yeah, the outlet stores are right by the Character Warehouse. Since you're going to go to Character Warehouse, it's the Orlando Premium Outlets. There's outlet stores right down the street. And if you're going to go hit up Character Warehouse anyway, just go there. <laughs> Thanks, Oda. Yes, they are high-end. We need drinks. Oh, I love it. You cracked me up, Sean. Yeah, we'll have to, yeah. I mean, it was great. Awesome. Pizza was, yeah, I would definitely, like, not get pizza. I would get steak. <laughs> Gelato treats look good, yeah. Making me hungry, sorry girl. Um, yeah, there's vegan options, yeah, I mean, I just haven't been a planet, I mean, when they first opened, watch Tim's video. Again, you're gonna pay a lot of money for pretty much the same menu they've had for years. I worked for Planet in Vegas, so. I am probably not the right person to ask about this because it was not a good experience. <laughs> That's expensive. So we got, yeah, New York strip here is $49.99. It's pretty much the same food as they had before. They just repackaged it. And you know what I mean? There's just so many. And this is just my opinion. You know, I'm just giving you my honest personal opinion as a food and beverage service professional. I'm going to sit in for a second. Um, I wouldn't eat it at, if, if you're coming here to Disney Springs this is where all like you have a ton of these celebrity chef restaurants here that you're only going to be able to eat at here I wouldn't eat at a chain restaurant I wouldn't do Planet I wouldn't do T-Rex or Rainforest unless the kids really want to go 
because you can do that anytime, anywhere, and there's rainforest a lot of places. Take advantage of the really cool, unique cuisine here. You know what I mean? Just dare to be different. <laughs> you know? You have Maria and Enzo's, Pizza Ponte. Um, the best, I think, bang for your buck is Blaze Pizza, as far as quick service. Uh, Yasaki, that is run by our wonderful friends out of the Japan Pavilion. And Epcot, they use the same tuna and all of that good stuff. The food there is amazing. Um, they have like salad bowls, you know, like they have tuna, ta -ta, like tuna, shrimp. There, you have a lot of options at the spring, so for sure. Yeah, I've been upstairs at Coca-Cola many times. I right when we open, we'll have to go again when they're open. I'll take you guys a gander. A lot of cool merch up there, and you can do after three o'clock. They do alcoholic. Um, drinks up top they have like coke floats different kinds of soda um that you can buy and then they have ones with alcohol after three it's pretty good exactly i'll go to stk and that feels like your club in though but it's you know do something that you you can't do anywhere else but here like don't go eat at a chain restaurant go to <laughs> i'm just i'm just you know but hey if it's something you really love, then go there. But you have so many new places to try. Try some of the new stuff. For sure. Uh, yes, the lounge is open. It's over here on the side right here. The, the bar, it's never busy. I feel bad for the bartender in there. Like, it's never busy. Yeah, the little lounge is right over here. It's always open pretty late. Your late night places will be STK. They have kind of a late night menu. So right up here, this whole upstairs area. Uh, Maria and Enzo's, V. Edison, um, <clears throat> STK. This is all your late night magic never sleeps areas. Um, planet also. They pretty much just like put a tarp over it. So now it's the observatory. But yeah, they have this Stargazers bar. And I think they have a main bar inside too. That's open late. But Yasaki, one of my favorite places to eat. So good. Definitely a good deal. Um, the Enzo's Hideaway, which is the little speakeasy area down there, is beautiful too. We'll have to come here one night when I'm like not having to drive home and we'll have a cocktail at one of these different places. But they have a beautiful view right out here too. Enzo's, is, it's really cute. Like if you have not gone in there, definitely need to do it. Super fun. Um, it's like a very speakeasy type, but you go in through this little area right here. And then there's a doorway right there. Enzo's Hideaway, Maria and Enzo's, and Edison is all part of the same complex. It's all run by the same group. They're kind of like four different locations in one. You have Enzo's Hideaway right, right down here. It's like kind of like an underground barn. They also have like tables and booths and stuff. Maria and Enzo's right here where you see the sign. That's actually Pizza Ponte. That's like their quick service location. Right next to it is Maria and Enzo's. It's actually like the full service restaurant. And then Edison, of course. So, yeah. Ooh, see, that's the problem with breakfast at Disney Springs. On a regular day, the only places that serve breakfast here are Starbucks, <laughs> I know, and um, regular day, like Monday to Friday kind of thing, is going to be, this, most of Disney Springs is not open until 1030 or 11. Starbucks or Earl's Sandwich. If you're going to come on a Saturday or Sunday, then yes, they serve brunch. I always say Chef Art Smith's because not just I'm biased, but best brunch in town. <laughs> and Raglan. Raglan has a brunch. Starts at 10. Nothing really is open here earlier than that unless you're just going to do Starbucks. Or they don't have a place that serves like eggs and pancakes like that. Like nothing breakfasty except on weekends. They have brunch. You know what I mean? So during the week, I feel bad because there's a lot of guests that come here thinking there's breakfast places. It's all going to be quick served during the week. So, yeah. Beverly's Revenge. It's a cocktail using Beverly. Um, you know, like the gross drink from Italy that we have. It is served at one of the resort bars. I can't remember which one. It's gross. It's a cocktail using the Beverly. Um, but if you like tonic, you might like it. Yeah, so this right here is your Marianne and Zoja going through this little speakeasy area there, but it's all attached. I've walked this entire complex, but it's like four little 
kind of restaurants in one. Here's your SDK, here's SDK. So very much like a Vegas nightclub. The hostesses were very scantily clad. They were very tight dresses. It's very, very Vegasy, very like a lot of techno music. Kind of loud sometimes. Um, Pizza Ponte, where it says right here, this is Pizza Ponte. This is like their quick service location. So right in here, Pizza Ponte. I know it's very, very kind of confusing because it says Marie and Enzo's, but it actually the Pizza Ponte area is right here. This is their quick serve. The actual like full service restaurant. Oh yeah, Pleasure Island is gone, girl, gone. Yeah, we've done. Um, if you want point of reference, because you're gonna get, you're gonna love this. is very easy. Marie and Enzo's is right here. The Edison was Adventurers Club. So Sean can tell you all about it because <laughs> he used to frequent. Like he's a big Adventurers Club fan. So this was the Adventurers Club. Morimoto Asia was mannequins so this was kind of this whole pleasure island area if you're thinking in your mind like eight tracks adventures club you're kind of like right here yeah no it's not a buffet um a lot of the buffets are your resort restaurants homecoming is not a buffet it's all um just menu items yeah no no buffet yeah, I did. I had pumpkin bread pudding this morning because, you know, they twisted my arm and served it to me during pre-shift. I'm like, Bridget, go get a spoon. <laughs> so they totally twisted my arm and told me I had to eat it. Okay. But remember how I told you, like, each location used to be something at Disney Springs? Dream it, then do it. I just love it. So Marie and Enzo's was the airport. The Edison was the power and light company. See, circa 1901, very important year. Um, <laughs> yeah. But Edison was fun. I haven't been here since the beginning of the year when their grand opening was. I, I went, I came for the grand opening. But they do have late night entertainment they're one of the places that are open to like two in the morning stk as well they have the late night menu but not bad paradiso been here since the beginning of time this is kind of where we started wine bar george and then the mac thing was at the end the little dance party so you've got morimoto asia right here and then you have the ganachery and more stores this is called the landing so any of these stores that are by the water the landing, remember? Four neighborhoods at Disney Springs, but there are some like Paradiso is one of the late night places that are open. I smell soap. Oh, the restroom's right there. Yes, exactly, Jelly, you got it. Yes, that's right. Good night, Alicia. Peer pressure, yeah, girl. Your evolving dance floors. Yeah, now it's Morimoto Asia. So Morimoto, Morimoto's beautiful on the inside. You, I think we've taken you guys in there for lunching with the ladies. That's mannequins. I mean, you can tell like the bones of it is still in there if you go inside of it. It's still like that big two, three story. It's a giant location. That's where we started. But all of these are just more stores. And the wine by George is very expensive. <laughs> Yeah, I went there. I told you I had like a salad and one cocktail. It was like $45. I'm like, really? Oh, it's a hint again. That's hilarious. Art of shaving? Oh my gosh, totally. Yeah, that was my favorite thing there was the Phantom of the Opera show. Yep. Oh, thank you for the super chat, Mish. You're awesome. <clears throat> And there's Jacques Lindsay's Hangar Bar, back where we started. That's owned by Disney. That's an actual Disney, Disney-owned bar. So you have a lot of, like, the Monkey Head drink is... It's one of those, like, global drink menu menus, so you'll be able to find stuff there that you have seen before. But here's the ganachery. Extremely dangerous and delicious things are involved. And there's chocolate. Mmm. Yummy. Mmm, the smell is to die for. Ooh. Why? I 
What are they making in there? Oh, they're cleaning it. <laughs> Ooh, more chocolate. Mm. Here's the Savannah Bee Company. Need to buy some honey. The Oakley store, and then here's Winbar George, Edwin Pearl, there's Raglan, and then Mac. Back where we started, Boathouse is right there in the corner. So all of these restaurants are the landing. I know we'll go down this way. I'm not going back up the hill. <laughs> we we'll, we'll did a full loop exactly where we started, pretty much. Yes, yeah, spinning dance floor, Carrie. Right here, we're gonna show you. I'm going downhill, we're gonna keep going downhill. They're still going at it over here at Matt. Oh, they're still playing music at Raglan, nice, yeah. But wine bar George, cause George, he's usually in there. He is the only master sommelier that is actually, has his own restaurant here. Like Disney offered him like his own place, but he is the only master sommelier on property. Oh, you're welcome, Wendy. I'm exhausted, girl. I'm gonna keel over and sleep like a baby. Raglan's delicious, though. All right, sprinkles, cupcakes. <laughs> no. I love sprinkles. I had a sprinkles problem when I lived in Vegas. Here's more Moto Asia. Very delicious. Saki sangria, you need it in your life. Uh, mannequins is right here. <laughs> this is mannequins. You remember, think about where you are. Okay, close your eyes, visualize. Mannequins. Raglan was always here, remember that? And then if you go down this alley straight ahead, you had that stage at the very end where it was New Year's Eve every single night. Visualize, visualize. I, I, I know you're visualizing it right now. But here you go, here's their late night menu, Thursdays through Saturdays, 10 p.m. till 2 a.m. They got a DJ. Ooh, bulgogi nachos, chicken wings. Shishito pepper, spare ribs, ramen, mmm, that looks really good. I could go for some total ramen right now. <clears throat> Sprinkles Cupcakes is right there. Frontero Casino, that's Chef Rick Bayless's restaurant. But that's mannequins. I know, right? It's so different, I know, girl. No, the boardwalk's still pretty much the same. You've been on the, yeah, the boardwalk, the only thing newish in the last couple of years is Abracadabra. Opened maybe two or three years ago now. It's been a minute, two and a half years. Almost around, like, right before Disney Springs got remodeled, Abracadabra um, opened over there. El Forno does breakfast now, does character breakfast with, like, um, Rapunzel and Ariel. Um, and Eric, of course, and Flynn. Best view of Disney Springs right here. You got Frontera right there. This is a uh, little guest services deluxe burger. And of course, Homecoming's right here. <laughs> Can't miss it. Um, Morimoto's little street food areas, a little quick service location. So restaurant straight up closed. I'm, I, I oh wow, okay. <laughs> So yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's very beautiful. But yep, this is our quick service, Peking Duck. I look at that every day. Did I really close it? Okay, they're still in the restaurant. <laughs> walk away. <laughs> Spent like 15 hours of my life here today. Walk away, Jen, walk away. Time to go home. <laughs> and here's the back of SDK right here. <laughs> um, they had to remodel it because it doesn't fit. Since all of um, Disney Springs got remodeled, it has to meet, it has to fit the new storyline of Disney Springs. It can't be that brightly colored, 
you know what I mean? Like now it's the observatory because all the buildings are supposed to have been something else at the turn of the century. So here's Blaze Pizza. That's the best $10 you'll ever spend. Like they have really good pizza and they do have a gluten-free crust as well. But yep, I pretty much gave you the insider's view of Disney Springs. <laughs> so I know, right? I do live at Disney. I mean, I, this is my location. So Disney Springs, I know inside and out just because I'm here every day. We didn't even go down the west side. <laughs> west side, Splitsville, late night bowling. We've done that quite a few times. We'll have to go do it again. Kimchi fried rice, enough said, delicious. Um, that's where like Lanuba is, Candy Cauldron. Oh, the new Jose Andres restaurant is going to be there. It's coming along nicely. And BA City experience, I mean, is coming along nicely too. It's just, there's so many new and exciting things here, you know. It's just, it's the place to be. It's really like, and there's Disney style where I spend a lot of my money. Very, very dangerous. <laughs> yes, I think so. I think so, yeah, SDK is so different now, but it is, yeah, it's this building right here, that's SDK. But yeah, you, you kind of visualize in your head, if you remember, like where everything was, but definitely Edison was the Adventurers Club. <clears throat> Disney style closed. Yeah, love that store. So they got this little quick service area here. There's Yasaki. Joffrey's and then remember the movie theater has two sides so make sure when you buy your ticket um, there's two sides because unless you're doing dine-in you're on this side this is only dine-in if you're doing regular it's all the way on the other side you can't go in through here you have to go down to the west side over here there are two Starbucks this is considered the west side Starbucks the Starbucks that we went to is called the marketplace um, Starbucks and these are full Starbucks, so you can use your free drink ticket, whatever, like your free drink on your app or whatever. Totally can do that here. And they're right on the water. This used to be um, character in flight. It's the balloon. They just repainted it and redid it, but it's the same balloon. Um, you can always get good, like Groupon usually has coupons too for that and then they did the drone show right on the water right back here that was the best spot behind Starbucks to go watch the drone the drone show like two Christmases ago Virgin Records mega store is Splitsville yes <coughs> oh thanks Mitch Yeah, oh no, I need to go home. Yeah, because that, I was just tiring myself out. I'm gonna sleep like a baby anyway. <clears throat> I'm gonna make sure when I, I get to get up early, let them know I'm not coming in until 6.30 p.m. I, I try to get there as late as possible. Since I have to close. I'm not here tomorrow, I'm at my other location. Boo. <laughs> Oh, totally, Carrie. Girl, if you like, like, Disney Springs is the best. If you like to shop, just hang out. We didn't even get out of here in time. If I was here out a little bit earlier, there's so much more like live music Thursday through Sunday. There's the strolling panel. There's just a ton of stuff to do here. And it's all really, like, if you think about it, it's free. A lot of locals come, go to the movies, go get something to eat. Just kind of get that little bit of Disney magic, especially during Christmas time, without having to deal with the you know yes that's where virgin records well it's not virgin records bongos and house of blues is still there um splitsville it's all west side yes that's that's used to be disney style used to be the harley davidson store there you go that's the best way to, to like orientate where you are too <laughs> that's funny Oh, thank you, Jill. You're so sweet. You guys are so sweet. <laughs> it's true. An NBA city, blah. We'll see. We'll see. Um, it's 
bigger. I don't know if it's going to be as bad as Universal because I think that's where you're going with that, Jeff. Trust me. I didn't like the one at Universal either. It's got to be different because this is Disney. They're a little bit stricter than Universal. So. Yes. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, guys. I am like exhausted, <laughs> but I need to go. Uh, yeah, I'm losing my voice. Puppy is calling totes. She is. Yeah, it's beautiful. I just wanted to see you guys. Yeah, we don't know yet. You hated it. I agree. It got really bad towards the end. Bad food, bad service, bad servers. Half of them ended up at, NB at NBC with me. Yeah, it was not good. But all right, guys. Well, I'm going to say goodbye. I will see you Thanksgiving, even if I pop on for a little bit. We're not sure what we're doing yet because... I am off Thanksgiving and I wanted to go to the park because I thought Rob was working. And now Rob's not working. I'm like, oh, Dios mio. So we got invited to do that Thanksgiving party, but there's other animals involved and we can't really have Riley around other dogs and cats yet. I prefer her to be around people because she needs to be socialized. Um, maybe I can convince Rob to come to Disney Springs or do something just us for Thanksgiving it really should just be like us anyway and the dog obviously and then whatever we do I'll stream you know maybe just find something to do that we could all do together maybe have nice lunch or Thanksgiving meal somewhere because that's an easy like I don't know we just got to figure it out Rob's not working now I thought he was working I was gonna stream at the park but I will let you know, though. I will keep you guys informed. So I will not see you tomorrow because I have to be at work till 2.30 in the morning. So I will see you guys on Thanksgiving. And have a wonderful, wonderful day tomorrow. And, yeah, I'm going to drive home and I'll see you. I, I could do that. I don't know. We'll see what we could do. Yeah, we could do Fort Wilderness again. Something. The dog's got to be with us, which is fine by me. I'm going to go cuddle my baby girl. Because she's so delicious. Um, get the orange brush. It's time to go. <sighs> uh oh, did somebody fall down, go boom? How many people always gonna fall down, go boom? People always falling down and going boom. I just don't understand. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, you guys. Good night, sweet dreams. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you for all your super chats. Thank you for all your love and support. And just be.